Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, Will Your Live. Huh? <laughs> 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 All right. We're back for some not for broadcast, continuing the previous run, which I'm kind of excited for because I don't know what chaos we've wrought. <laughs> Wait, was that the intro? Is there anything yeah. actually happening? You said, Will, you're live, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm sitting here quietly. Yes. I have everything. Is yes. <laughs> That's exactly but... what I wanted out of that. <laughs> <laughs> but everything's fine. <laughs> Look. I'm fine with girl go with girl bossing. I'm fine with gatekeeping. Not with the gaslighting. Yeah. <laughs> can't handle the gaslighting. <laughs> That's what I wanted out of it. <laughs> Advance so, has the vibe. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, so, like, recap. Advance was, like, we promoted them heavily last time, I think. Mm. And then we got electrocuted. What the You're fuck? going to need a full charge to clear that many off. What the? Hold down the big button until what the it's hell are those? Charged, <laughs> then release it to zap the little fuckers. Aliens? We're broadcasting again. They must have been while you were napping. Usually it only takes a tap on the button to clear one. Look, there's a lone one climbing now. Okay, okay so we got our employee training video. Great. That seems to be the last of them. I do enjoy that. Now. Right. So, uh, Techno Gremlins, okay. Techno Gremlins, yeah. Okay, we can't let Crazy Neil talk. The great we can't let him... Wait, 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 what is that? I didn't see. Uh, great new collectible series, what's the name on it? I don't know. This has no credibility, Jenny. No professionalism. Okay. Compassionate statement from Eye of the Beholder. It's not a mess. Everything is where it should Employee be. Employee training internal. I feel like we shouldn't put this in because this course, is internal Megan's use only. But, I can't but we have to do it, three. Okay. So we have. Jenny, how's locking with the boyfriend we, going? I think we just don't put the go getters in at all. You know what? Why don't we put. Why don't we do reflections Jenny, and Jenny, crazy musings? I want to see how insane like Crazy Neil her. is. And I don't want to do advance or like the internal tape. Shall I count us in? Make it so. Okay. Right. Okay, ten seconds. Break a leg, everyone. Preferably a furry one. What? Five, four, <laughs> what? three. What? <laughs> Good evening. I'm Jeremy Dalton. And I'm Megan Wolf. Our main stories tonight. Hey, they're working Snuggle from home. Hunt. It's been almost five weeks since all the Mrs. Snugglehug's toys. Oh, Mr. Snugglehug. That's what those are. Worldwide, <laughs> and we're searching for their husbands. The Mr. Snugglehugs were so oh, uh, destroyed. We have a choice. And now, Four. as this Sorry, photograph B. suggests, they may be changing tactics. Built to surprisingly traditional gender stereotypes, the Mrs. Snugglehugs <laughs> have been arming themselves with a variety of household The surprisingly the traditional sure stereotypes. Is up good and tight. This frightening new development means that even those previously thought to be relatively safe, like the young and fit, must take care to watch their backs and keep their ears open for the soft steps of sinister feet. Going okay, crazy. so the toy we produced no signs of Mrs. is now attacking the world. Okay. The now and and, and we're in lockdown. Day. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. This is, this is representing real life. I like it. <laughs> Dramatic reports are beginning to emerge of uncharacteristically bold behavior in homes across the country. Hey. And we're not talking about the model planes that occupy so much time in the Donaldson household. With dating options limited, many house sharers, <laughs> in particular students, are finding oh, yeah. co tenants they previously rejected as unfuckable, indulging in an activity that has become known as snuggle tugging. Snuggle tugging! Tricks. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's a great euphemism right there. So he can start his new career. It is, of course, up to each of us to choose how we spend this brief spell of collective unconsciousness. But if this photograph, sent by the man himself, is anything to go by, Johnny seems to be making oh some interesting decisions with regard to his time at home. Making his announcement by drunkenly shouting at his neighbours from the steps of his capital accommodation, Johnny was heard to repeatedly yell, I'm going to open a fucking forest before failing to get back inside his house and sleeping it the, off. This news anchor hatch. has become incredibly I'm unprofessional. Yeah. <laughs> he just keeps fucking swearing. 
In their own I'm kind of on his side. I'm, I'm on his side, too. Now, Screw it. The descendants of doctors David Wong and Ingrid Sporsborg and Horgensborg and their unfortunate team today managed to get a personal statement to the surface using flagellized imaging equipment. Many of the sports Borg and Horgan's brew, as they've come to be known, have certainly captured the public imagination. <laughs> but the recent vote naming Helvetica Sports Borg and Warren's Helvetica Sports and Borg. a massive electric shock. Helvetica Sports Borg and Warren's Ford here with a little update from Dante's Taint. This is going to be our biggest <laughs> ever harvest, and autumn's just. Oh, uh, there's no way not to giggle at Dante's Taint. At least that's what we think. There's no real day or night down here, and all the clocks broke a long time ago. But if our calculations are right, we think Fuck that those up there it is Wong's Day, the 412th of January, or as you call it, Pit's Mouth Day. Or possibly Poxy Day for a bit oh, out. Oh, so, uh, I missed a swear. I hope oh, piss. The you asked for left under Pit's Mouth Day. I'm hoping to complete my collection of rocks. See you in September. Have to get out. It's hard to believe they've been down there so long now. But as everyone knows, time moves differently underwater, Jeremy. Oh, her goldfish is so stupid. That's right. And as anyone will tell you, the deeper the bowl, the thicker the goldfish. There's no denying the logic of that. <laughs> okay. War, dummy thick? A worrying turn dummy today thick. The formerly rich has ever more Perpetually dummy thick. Announced, Alex. Oh, With the country God. becoming ever more hostile to the previously wealthy, those who manage to skip the country must be very uh, grateful to the people who help them right now. This program has received reports of rich relatives on the run actually being filled with helium and released into the stratosphere. If those rich bastards think they're above the rest of us, why not give what them- What did they all just stopped caring? And Advance speaks out. With the snuggle struggle proving a test to governments around the world, Advance HQ released a curious statement this afternoon. In the accompanying release, they asked us to stress that they have been him or her. and that this should be taken him. as a response to Let him ruin their image. We've certainly done our bit on this show to contribute to the political climate. But let's not forget, how we behave in our home lives is what really matters. Let's hope it's not just me who filled out that questionnaire, Jeremy, or we're all in trouble. <laughs> let's play that statement. Let's play that statement. Evening. Apparently, we need to have a chat about... We're gonna have to censor. Oh, yeah. The rules. So, the other night, I were at my local park for research purposes. For research purposes. Having a kickabout <laughs> without a care in the world. And not only did they refuse to let me join in, they wouldn't even let me have a swig of their white stripe. <laughs> Laughing and joking they were. Like there weren't a national crisis. The kids don't want to be friends with me. Why do the kids not want to be friends with me? So, I've got two things to say to you young, fit folk. One, stay at home. It's not for you. It's to protect your Aunt Mabel and Bill next door. And two, always, always share your booze with your Prime Minister. As my old man used to say, there's only two types of people. Then we will help you across the road with the shopping. And then we will kick you in the fatty and nick your macaroni. So don't be a pasta snatcher. We stay at home. Fanny? Have a brandy. I worse than Britain. Oh, uh, fair enough. Thank you. Delectable stuff. <laughs> Later tonight, Jeremy will be catching up with brave raving reporter Patrick Bannon while I check in with two friends of the program who find themselves stranded at opposite ends of the country. And then, in part three, there's going to be a quiz. Presumably because there's nothing more important going on that you might like to report on if you were saying a news program. And in a moment, <laughs> we'll both so few you shits. And how such a trusted brand can avoid such a terrible <laughs> oh, it's like. Last stream was pre-COVID, and this is like just instantly in COVID. I like her. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Here you bastards! Yeah. Oh God, it's a snuggle ball. Off the thing. Get here. Where are we going? And most importantly, 
Who's to blame? Joining us from her ranch in Arlingsfield, Milkirky, is the CEO of Remington's Fist, internationally It's so hard to pay attention to all the things. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Megan. I'm a huge fan of your work. And from a crystal healing laboratory, what I see oh, is no. Wellington, inexplicably yeah. renowned second scientist, Dr. Delia Lywell. Thank you for being here. Lywell. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Sorry, us? Myself and the eminent professors. Is that what you call the voices in your head? I always seem to attract dead scientists. I don't really know why. The money? They express themselves to me through ethereal algebra and quadratic predictions. It's all very technical. No, it isn't. I can tell. <laughs> no, 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 it's really not. The range will surely go down as the biggest public relations disaster in history, won't it? Well, of course, that's one world record we would never have thought to claim. What can you say at a time like this? There is only one thing that can be said. I'm sorry. We're sorry. From everyone here at Remington's Fist, but especially the dedicated inventors and world-beating engineers at Remingtories, we are deeply, deeply sorry. <laughs> Who could have predicted that I letting mean, a child's toy learn how to love could have such Rimming toys just sounds terrible. <laughs> Mary Shelley. Oh. Oh. We see ah. you, Sophia Remington. You are preening by a metal vessel, and where you venture, you will see neither land. Honestly, interviews going better than anti-work. <laughs> I remember being a child in my grandpa's workshop. When he was <laughs> Put it by That's my bed. such a and frustrating I interview. I don't know, as much as I agree with what Auntie Work is all about, that interview was the most annoying thing ever. And dance before my eyes. Yeah, I do not understand why they were like, hmm. And he used the money he made to Let's get rimming toys. Which is someone now with no media training and a deep sense of entitlement. And Sadly, let's get someone who doesn't prepare for interviews and wait doesn't really know what they're talking about preschool she sorry she just mentioned something about preschool tobacco factory just the other day i saw like a weirdly crazy ad being like wow look at this brave and smart 12 year old getting a job and it's like you know, let's not let's not manufacture consent for child labor huh I thought we were getting fur like I worked when I was that young, and I could tell you firsthand I would rather be playing video games at that time. You know, it didn't teach me the value of hard work. It taught me the value of my free time. Remington's fist is proud to present Snuggle Traps. Safety and security in these dangerous times. Snuggle Traps contains eight devices, all guaranteed. We need to get reaction shots on them. Get get off. Enough for a small lawn or four window boxes. And you want to know the best thing? They're only one twenty nine ninety nine a box. Now that is affordable peace of mind. <laughs> we see you, Jeremy Donaldson. Not now, honey. Oh, reaction shot from him. The best thing about Snuggle Trap is that powered by next generation Flardinium batteries. So, however long the enemy lasts, these traps will outlast them. <laughs> we see you, Mr. Donaldson. You are screaming. And yelling, your friends. Oh, we should get a little bit of two. Just throw it in there. <laughs> oh my god, I just got chills. Did anyone else just get chills then? I think I did. I think it's more concerned. I think I'd be more concerned about these traps. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> continue um, on with that. Aren't they dangerous, say, to children? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> These are not toys, but they're explosive fun. What? <laughs> Sophia Remington, Dr. Delia Lywell. Okay, so Remington Toys is now back, no longer a toy Remington company. To they just make oh, explosives, course. but that are explosive we'll fun. These bandages. You know, I do trust them to make explosives more than I trust them to make toys. Oh, not that yeah. I trust them much. Exactly <laughs> <laughs> she seems very nice, that young Miss Remington. I think she'd make an interesting dinner guest. Do you think so? I think I'd rather spend the evening shoving Delia's sacred crystals up my skeptical arse. There are too many pills. There's milk in my blood. Life changing injuries. I've decided to come home. Listen, I'll call you back at the next break and we can talk about how I get me job back. Cheers, Alex. See you, mate. 
I've decided I'm getting my job back after I threw it all on you. The companion yeah, well, magazine oh, with yes. a non-specific <laughs> corporate apology. The Electroshock <laughs> Collection. Yeah, it's Alan James. Oh, yeah, I'm not You're not backing out on the map. We're in this together. It's gonna work. We'll get him. I've made the cake. You're on the balloons. Got no idea how old he is. 40, 17. Yeah, yeah, ready. <clears throat> okay, coming back. In five, four, three. Who's two? Welcome I back to the National News. I'm assuming Jeremy Donald. Now it's time to take a trip around the country to hear how the lockdown might impact the nation. Oh, my fucking God. Joining me are respected academic Katie Brightman and author of Alan James's Kites, Alan James. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me, Megan. Thanks, Megan. It really is a pleasure, Katie. I enjoyed our little... He's got his own face on his shirt, I know. I wish I could say the same. So first off, Katie, how are you? I know. I'm holding up okay. The lockdown directive was so sudden that, like many people, I haven't been able to get home. Oh, no. What happened? I was staying at a hotel after an international... You can tell that this was in the first couple months. Yeah, this was, this was in the first little bit of it. You know what economists are like. <laughs> Notoriously hate splitting the bill. <laughs> and I overslept. Everybody being like, oh no, I'm on vacation. Yeah. And now I'm stuck on vacation. Exactly. My tour has been cancelled indefinitely. And I've had to refund every single ticket. Even the <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this smug guy being sad about how much money he lost is also first couple of months of the pandemic. Oh, God, yeah. Celebrities singing Imagine. <laughs> businesses. <laughs> the amount of businesses desperately trying not to have to adapt, being like, no, it's fine. You. you don't need to think about long term. We, we can make it. We can make so, it. Katie, how do you think this might affect the economy? Should we be worried? Very, Megan. Not to sound dramatic, but this could be catastrophic. Unemployment has skyrocketed, and frankly, it will be a miracle if a lot of businesses. Can yeah, survive. the first couple of months of the pandemic was really like yeah. people slowly going. Oh, I really have to adapt and change. You mean the circumstances of my life are no longer stable? Oh no! Inside a hoax. How on earth can you say that, Alan? Well, I haven't actually seen one of these supposed toys. Have you? <laughs> yes. No. Several. But did you know Several. people die every year from regular toys? That's a lot of people. <laughs> and this is no different. You're just as likely to be hunted down by a yo-yo or a tennis racket. Mm, he makes an excellent and persuasive point, Katie. Don't listen to her, Katie. The press are the enemy of truth. She's agreeing with you, Alan, you absolute <laughs> shit! <laughs> Wrong. Alan, are you now recounting your statement that these toys aren't dangerous? People are saying they're just like normal toys, and that simply isn't true. Corrupt media lies. And Katie, how God, this is the most accurate representation of 2020 I think I've ever seen. After all. <laughs> yeah. I suppose I, I like, guess I'm agreeing with him. Thank you, it's Katie. basically like buzzword opinion. politics. You don't think about anything else that someone's saying except for the statement immediately in front of you <laughs> and which clap back uh, is the most yeah, appropriate. Right, yeah. Exactly. We need decisive action from the government. We need huge financial support <laughs> to protect our workers and our businesses. We need to support. The Let's cut to him as he's biting into the sandwich. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, we need to get that <laughs> shit. With all our liberal indulgences like art, cake, <laughs> <laughs> Pepper going on it. Sacrificing our first calls, or at a push of the love family. Absolutely, Alan. If we can all successfully come together as a community and perform I'm, the I'm ritual, for it. hopefully get we the, will get the ideal. <laughs> Katie, could Damn it. be any worse. <laughs> Luckily, over the past few years, I really wanted to get the shot, but he walked away. So the system can actually bear the strain. Is it lucky that the Llama Lords have unleashed a horde of man-made monsters on its own? Oh, of course, of course. He needs a bit. The global alliance. They're Wait. in the same room. <laughs> They're in the same fucking room. Oh my god! Did this is a this lover's is a... spat? <laughs> I hate to do this in response to this because it's so much darker, but I saw a video at one point and it's like a fucking legendary tier judge who is doing like a, a domestic violence case. And it's like, you can see it online for whatever reason. 
and he figures out like that. that the boyfriend is at her house and sends a bailiff and like you can watch them catch him and arrest him for fucking violation of parole while the guy slowly pieces together it's like you're in the same house you're trying to pretend by shooting from a different angle on a zoom call yeah Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. Some real food for thought there from two of the territories. Switch to switch to Donaldson. Any moment now, I'll be heading over to Jeremy, who is going to be bringing report of the status of the nation. Over to you, Jeremy. Thank you. Which really contributed to the national conversation. Next, out on the streets, someone who's always doing exactly that. It's Patrick Brennan. Are you there, Patrick? Uh, hello, Jeremy. Yes, hello. I'm here. I'm here live. Um, apologies for the quality of the broadcast today. Yeah, that's totally uh, not a backdrop. Mm -hmm. uh, brave enough to come and join me, so uh, I'm out here on my own. Right, and uh, can you tell us what it's like out there? Yep, I can. It's uh, uh, as you can see behind I the knew streets. It. I can't be <laughs> completely deserted. Uh, from my question, Jeremy, just found what? I mean, could there be danger lurking just around the corner, waiting to end the fledgling career of this young promising journalist before his, his full potential is even realised? Will he die under a pre- Get a reaction. <laughs> and frankly, if you ask me, very, very much unpaid. I don't think there's any danger of that, Patrick. Um, what's that on your jacket there? Oh, that, that's actually a sponge. Uh, I've made a, what I've done here is made a snuggle-proof jacket, Jeremy. Uh, the <laughs> network didn't bother sending me any PPE, uh, so I've been forced to improvise. Um, in fact, showing the sort of resourcefulness that would make me an ideal candidate for, I don't know, for example, an anchor position starting whenever they'd like. From your point of view, Patrick, <laughs> um, just how safe are our streets? Uh, not, not, not safe at all, Jeremy, not safe at all. Uh, I'd recommend people staying inside, uh, following government advice, and not putting themselves at any risk at all. Uh, unless, of course, uh, like me, it's for groundbreaking Like, journalism. it's a good, it's a good oh, backdrop. No. He's got the me, angle Patrick. going for it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, in the street, on the street. Which street? Uh, I'm, um, uh, I think I'm, I'm struggling to hear you, actually, uh, Jeremy, there. Which street? Which street are you on? Oh, which, which street am I on? <laughs> um, I'm, oh, God. Um, I'm just looking for a sign. Um, oh, there it is. Just hold on. Just hold on as long as possible. Yep, just, this is the most awkward. Bannon Avenue? Yep. Bannon Avenue. Yeah, no, I can hear you fine. Yep, I'm on Bannon <laughs> Avenue on the sign, it says there. Like Patrick Bannon? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that is like, that's strange, that's a weird sign. I don't know what's going on there. Where are you, really? I'm on Bannon, um... All right, fine, I'm not on Bannon Avenue, I'm on, I'm at home, to be honest. I'm... All right, fine, well, I mean, I'm in my bathroom, technically, but, you know, I, I couldn't face it, to be honest, mate. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's terrible out there, I don't want to go outside, they're everywhere. I'm sorry for lying. We don't expect any less of you, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I can, yes. Uh, I'm no expert, Patrick, but it sounds unmistakably like a. One of them's getting in. It's getting in. Oh, fuck, it does. Oh, fuck, Jeremy, shit, no! Oh, bollocks, right. Perhaps there's a small queue of tiny fists. Each wielding a different gendered and household implement. <laughs> and he's catching the heads of lying little roving reporters. So you're lying, aren't you? Oh shit, fucking, okay, fucking, listen, listen to me, listen to me, you bastards. If you're out there, just to piss off, you little fucking snuggle fuck. I'm too talented to die. Oh, what the fuck? No. Okay. <laughs> oh god. He's got cakes. Yeah, he's got cakes. Magic, uh, I'd say you've got a few seconds before they break their way in there and finish you off. Gotta get the shot. Yeah. What do you see, Patrick? <laughs> we gotta get it right until the signal dies. Yeah. Thank you, Patrick, for that report. <laughs> showing the nation, uh, more importantly, yeah, Third Guy, I also have questions. <laughs> it's time for another break, but uh, when we come back, we're yeah. going to take your mind off the world for a little while 
And who knows? Maybe even bring you a few smiles. Join us after this. You're damn right. Yeah, I had them delivered. Yes. It's a Bannon Avenue. <coughs> What love butt lift clinics. Okay, no yeah. That's what crazy day is going for this time. <laughs> okay, so he's not He's, he's not coming. He's back. not. What the he's fuck not delivering is going a on in the outside world. <laughs> I just noticed the sun. What is? That's a pineapple plane. <laughs> Wait, is it flat? <laughs> oh god, they're in. They're in. That's what the gra the the glass was. They're in. I'm not. I'm not Bob here to make your life. A little more enjoyable. Yeah. Five, four, three. Oh god damn it, is this Welcome fucking Five Nights at Freddy's? This is now Five Nights at Freddy's. Hello. It's a fight Welcome off. Back anyway. mm. Yo, gay! Well, isolation isn't easy, so finally tonight, we have something a bit different for you. Even though some people have heard it's not our job to entertain the public with absolute nonsense, other yeah. more important people overrule those people. So it's time to find out who will national nightly win. And who will national nightly lose? <laughs> so, how do we play? Well, joining me as a man who knows all about playing, it's Tommy Harris. Hello, Tommy. All right, Johnny. <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> and uh, how are you This is along now Five Nights at Freddy's, Jimmy? and I am yep. terrified, and... A man is in bed. A man is in bed. Ah, yeah, I think <clears throat> I heard about that, actually, yeah. You're in bed, Tommy. Yes, you called during nap time, so... Of course, that's my board. So, <laughs> nap time. You know what, you you know what this reminds me of? What? Well, you remember, simple, like, the Rabbids game for the Wii? The yeah. The one that, like, overlaid the CG onto real footage? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a surprisingly good game. I was expecting I never it. actually played that one. It's this, more or less. Like, it's a rail shooter, but it's... Yeah. It's good. Jeremy. Oh. Thank you. This. Is that? What is that? It's my athletic support, Jeremy. It's a jock strap. Oh. But I've signed it, so. Oh well then. What a fantastic prize. Have we got anybody waiting to win this once in a lifetime prize, Jerry and Jimmy? I believe we have Angie on the line. Um, okay, this guy is not only still in bed, I think he might be a little high or a little drunk. Yeah, a little night. bit of both. I love you. Both of you. Well, you've said it now, haven't you? Oh, Angie, I love you. In a way. We have to get shots of Jeremy Donaldson cringing at this. <laughs> there we go. You ask and I shall deliver. I'm a human woman, and my dental hygiene has been described as exceptional. Brilliant! Right, well, shall we get this shambles on the way? Absolutely. <laughs> Can I get I am a human woman, clock, yes. <laughs> we haven't got a clock. Yeah, I did ask for a clock. So, well, um, why don't you yeah. start, and I'll stop you when it inevitably becomes unbearable to watch. I love it. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Time starts n -n 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 now. Question one. When is my birthday? Okay, we're gonna get a fucking cringe reaction soon. <laughs> that is absolutely correct. Question two. What? I said, what is my favorite color? Crushed praline four. Correct. The color of my nipples. And finally, <laughs> the color of my nipples. <laughs> what is my star sign? That's a trick question. So is this just like a celebrity personal life quiz? Oh, we gotta get Donaldson responding to this. Correct. Stop the clock. <laughs> wow, that really was tough to watch. How did you do, Johnny? Well, Angie, my love, you got every single question right. Which, of course, means you lose and win absolutely nothing. Thanks for playing, Angie. Bye. Do we have another contestant on the line? <laughs> Jelly Bean? 
We do indeed. <laughs> we should have Sonia Hartleach. Are you there, Sonia? <laughs> of course I am, Jamie, Hello. darling. <laughs> thank you for being here, Sonia. Oh, there you are, Tommy. Mwah. Let me guess, you work in theatre, don't you? Is it that obvious? <laughs> what gave it away? Was it the glamour <clears> or <throat> poise? It certainly wasn't your inherent sense of humility. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about yourself, Sonia. I'm slowly falling in love with this man. Oh, well, not, the, you know, not the prat, fucking day. Jeremy Dobbins. <laughs> yeah, the lack of shits that he gives in these news reports is so good. <laughs> okay, we gotta get reactions as she's doing this self-indulgent nonsense. Oh, oh god, no, we... Yeah. Oh, well. They yeah. may have yeah. closed the theatres, shut the They're studios, fucking with me. and boarded the cinemas, but they won't get me that easily. How are you managing without any work? Due to a savvy clause in all of my artists' contracts, I am able to claim my 15% yeah, yeah. from their unemployment benefit. <laughs> oh, get a, get a Jeremy wow, Donaldson reaction. That certainly is sharp. Standard stuff, standard stuff. And can I ask, where are you yeah. speaking to us from? Well, I work from home, you know, to keep costs down. And, uh, who's this? Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, when they gave the order, I was actually mid-meeting with a client, so we've been isolated together. No fucking way! What the oh, yeah, get done with some reaction to this shit. Harris? I'm a huge fan. Can I just tell you how bloody brilliant you are? Actually, Jeff, we're about to play a game, aren't no, no, we, no. Tommy? We've got time, we've got time. Well, if it's not too bold, I think I am in love with you, Mr. Harris. No, no it's not too bold. That's all right. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, I gotta get I, some Donaldson on you this. Some of my stuff. I've been working on <laughs> the new a little... Oh, a little... Uh... During lockdown, uh, we've been workshopping some of Jeff's ideas for much younger children, haven't we? People still let you know their children, do they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been developing uh, some shows for young you children. you got to get reactions when well, they start pitching. We'd love to see it, wouldn't we, Gerbil? Absolutely dying to. <laughs> right. Gerbil? <laughs> what do kids Gerbil. love? Uh, timely just put payments from their absent fathers. Shallow and overproduced <laughs> musical numbers? That's right. <laughs> Animals! <laughs> so, I'm trying to address the things that kids need to know. Oh, you give so few shits. Do you understand? I think, yes. I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeff's one of my best clients, aren't you? I am. Yeah, yeah. So, the first one we've been working on is called The King of the Jungle's Mortgage Repayment. Oh, yeah, reaction. It's about a lion who's having problems with his interest <laughs> I see. Does he have a broker? Uh, he does. Yes, yes. He's a porcupine. Uh, how did you know that? <laughs> well, your work is universal, darling. It speaks oh. to people. <laughs> I'm going to say something to you, mate. I think you're onto something, eh? Oh, the bear, the bear. Oh, yes, bear. yes, yes, yes. Right. <clears throat> this one is much better. Kay. So, this one tells the tale of Mr. Bear. We should now, Mr. Bear get Jeremy just getting more and more bothered bear. by it. Because all of the other bears don't think that it'll amount to much. She's and turned something off the plug, Alex. Derivative. Well, I think you're under something there. Now, Mr. Bear is a tragic yeah. figure. Picture this. He's at his lowest ebb. The trees are closing yeah. in. He can't even face his salmon, can he? But then he meets someone that will change his life forever. <laughs> this is fucking gripping. That's right. He meets a wise old Get ready for Donaldson. octopus who takes him under his wing and says, <laughs> No, Mr. Bear, don't be sad. You're not like all the other bears. You have this ambition and these really appreciate the fake art thing that they were doing. I think I love you, Jeff. <laughs> and what hey. you need to do, <laughs> Mr. Bear, is Oh, this is gonna be something dumb. Probably doing an eight arms gesture or something. <laughs> what you need to do to find happiness in this crazy old forest is you need to set yourself more realistic goals. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Bear lowers his expectations. <laughs> <laughs> You really have to take yourself off. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? Oh, fuck shit. Shit, fuck. What? I said Wait. more realistic worldview. Are you alright, Jamboree? It's Jeffrey. 
My name is Jeffrey Donington. Uh, no, oh, we gotta see what's going on there. We need to know how it ends. Well, all the animals learn a thing or two about inevitable mediocrity. And Mr. Bear settles down near to his parents' cave, stops trying to make his band happen. Oh yeah, get a reaction shot. I think he's having a mental breakdown over this. On uh, the other dude, Tommy. Oh, and we end. Oh, oh, oh. We end on a big musical number. Oh, there's dancing. Oh, uh, it's very repetitive, so it's catchy but not too challenging. Um, well, if you like, I could go and get my boombox. I like the little squeaks yeah, they make. Hang on. Bonk uh, them off of there. Why not? The more, the merrier, as they say. So oh, annoying geez. to bonk them, but it's better than charging <laughs> the thing. Right, I'll just fill then, shall I? <laughs> coming up in a moment, it's the world premiere that nobody saw coming. Live or wanted. What? At all. Right. I can only oh apologize in advance for what we're all about to endure. Can you turn this shit in? Ah. Yeah. Well, there's all sorts of creatures. <laughs> on dangling. Oh, great. Oh. <laughs> like wise old Mr. Octopus. With way too many arms. There's Mr. Pig and Mr. Cow. They're always in good mood. But that's called Jeremy Donaldson leaving. Oh my god. Fucking love. Sliced up into food. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your hopes go to turn into despair. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your dreams go to die. Why does she know the moves? <laughs> it's all been it's all been prepped from the get go. We've been we've been bamboozled. Mr. Tiny Mouse thought he'd own a massive house, ended up in a bedsit where he can't control the louse. Mr. Horse thought he'd go into professional sports, now he's an alcoholic and he's on his third divorce. Mr. <laughs> I'm enjoying this way too much. <laughs> Why are they dressed like Home Depot employees? I don't know. I think they're supposed to be Mario Lu Luigi. <laughs> I need to get the fact that he has a lamp. This is amazing. I like that even the, the animals have left this alone. It's getting faster. That's where you see yeah. That's where your dreams go to die. Okay, we have to get him fucking up. Yeah. Before we say goodnight, there's just time for tonight's parable. Oh for no. It did come to pass that on the road there was a wise man and a foolish man and a weird man. And there did Hi. come upon them from what the is local going village, on? a truth seeker named Thank you. Brian. And he did come to them with arms and someone okay. else's arms and a question. A wise and weird and foolish man, he said, whilst dancing the traditional jig of inquiry common in those lands. So what is this? I have no idea. That, like, that's the other anchor. And I have no idea what the fuck she's doing. And the wise man did say, there are no riches greater than family. I can click the multiple And the foolish man did say he'd heard a good tip for the camel race and that it was a sure thing. And the weird man did say that two ears was just the right number. 
I can cause them to go fucking flying. This is great. Although he did see the use for a second anus. And unlikely Brian did fall into wonder and befuddlement at their answer. So although he was also wondering why is she doing a southern accent? With a weird man had any actual value in this sort of professional You know, I don't have an answer for that. Yeah, like I'm assuming it's meant to be like a southern vibes where you're, you know, yeah, like evangelical you... kind of thing. You get that around here too sometimes where like you're, you're oh, driving through and like the only available radio station you switch to it and it's like nothing but gossip. Yeah. <laughs> And thus did Alex's family become Wait, like Alex these are Lord. our stories. When he discovered a turd in his cradle and was forced to ask Nebuchadnezzar to leave. We didn't let our daughter go. That's all we have time for tonight. I'm what the fuck? Megan Wolf. Have a hateful night. I'll be done. Oh my god. I thought I was going to piss myself all the way through that. <laughs> Not even joking. Right, babe, I've got to go get my bits done. We know times are hard. We know that you're scared. <laughs> At the end of the day, babe, see, mate, it's my funny cut. But now, you know what I mean? more than ever. Yeah, come on then, you lot, out my house. Even though we're apart, we want you to know. It still matters how you look. Loads, actually. To the distant demons. Okay, we're in a fever dream. Okay, we did pretty okay. We did, did really okay. freaking good on that one. <laughs> we did kind of all right. We did really good on that one, despite constantly cutting back to fucking Jeremy Dawson just looking <laughs> absolutely exhausted with everything. I think that's why we did well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Please, more of that. That was amazing. <laughs> I don't even know how we're affecting the story. Don't even care. This is amazingly hilarious. <laughs> this has gone down a path that I did not expect it to. <laughs> we are blind and reaching in the dark. Like, when it started off, I was like, oh, so we got some government stuff going on. No, just evil toy companies. And there's also some government stuff, sure, but evil toy companies. <laughs> God, that's amazing. What was the name of the dude? The guy who has his own book? Alan as James? A shirt of his own thing. Yeah, Alan James. <laughs> Alan James is one of those people where, like, someone you know will recommend them and be like, I don't agree with all his ideas, but he's right sometimes. <sighs> Alan James is huh? great. Oh, we're rich. Nice. Wait, okay. so do we just have a heart attack? Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, after... Because the... Um, Previous, the end of our last stream was us getting electrocuted. Mm. So, so that was just a fever dream. <laughs> yeah, that was just a fever dream. But you know what? That was a, that was an on point fever dream right there. <laughs> so, looking up at Sam's face is a mixture of concern and frustration. Things haven't been great between you lately, and Chris hasn't been helping things. Looming at Sam's shoulders with a sour expression, it's clear there's still no love lost between you two. While Sam clearly is worried about you, the family scowl is obvious on both their faces. Okay. Should probably go with the thanks for coming part. Yeah. If we're not getting divorced, we might as well be, you know, cordial and try and patch things up. Also, where's the money coming from? Uh, like, I'm assuming they said they seized the wealth, out. but they can't just, like, fart out enough so that everybody has anything. This is clearly not equality. There are people who are not getting paid. Oh, 100%. Right? 100% this is not going to be equality. Um, this is almost more of like the Stalin Mao kind of like you get in a party position and that's effectively the new nobility. Yeah. The like, word for you wins out and Sam takes your hand before leaning in to kiss your forehead. Of course, sweetheart. I could never have been anywhere else. And for the first time in a while, both of you genu genuinely smile at each other before you look at the rest of the family. Susie is standing next to Stam, less worried now that you're awake and smiling. Power of friendship. <laughs> Power of friendship and... 
Vin and marriage and <laughs> having a kid. You can see Sam's worry on your daughter's face, but it uh, quickly turns into a frown when she notices you looking at her. I'm glad you're okay. It's muttered more than said, a grudging acknowledgement that, despite your difference, she still cares. Well, we're not going to be sassy now. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for coming. Yeah. <laughs> she just can't help but smile back at you, rolling her eyes good-naturedly. It's great to have you here. Charlie catches your eye as he fidgets with the edge of the blanket. You okay, your this, head to look this at is him. something I want to point out. One eyebrow raise question. Why doesn't it give us an option to not be a dick to him? Like, I don't know. <laughs> because Charlie seems like one of those people that genuinely just really can't handle criticism. Has no, isn't Charlie, our, isn't Charlie our needs... kid? Wasn't that Susie? We have two kids. I thought we had one kid. No, we so have who's... we have a teenage daughter and like a, a, a oh, child. Oh, that's who it was. Like, Chris is the other guy. Yes. Okay. Uh, as soon as you turn to look at him, you can see Charlie tense up. He's clearly battling hard to stay mad at you. You look expectantly at him. He refuses to meet your gaze. Hey, I'm going to be fine. We'll be fighting again before you know it. Or, well, they, if he won't make really, an effort now, why should you? <laughs> they really go out of it. They really go out of their way to, like, give you, like, okay, you can either be very evidently super pathetic and petty, <laughs> or, like, engage in basic respect, and then half the time engaging there is in no basic middle ground. respect, like, doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, I'm gonna be fine. We'll be fighting again before you know it. He looks at you and grins. Uh, one of those infectious smiles that spreads around the room. It's always good to have him in your corner. Uh, your smile fades as you notice your mother staring listlessly out the window. Despite all your best efforts, she's not doing well lately. You okay, Mom? Your mother starts. Your call clearly shocked her out of her reverie. Uh, she turns to you and smiles, and you're grateful to see the increasingly rare recognition in her eyes. Yes, dear, of course. How are you feeling? You smile warmly and nod before you can respond. A doctor bustles in and ushers everyone out. She asks you for what feelings, what feels like the hundredth time, how you're feeling. Surprisingly well, Gover things considered. <laughs> so, like, the government's definitely going to kill our mom, right? Oh, probably. Yeah, yeah. They're going to put her out to pasture. Uh, excellent. There's no sign of any real damage, just a bit of a shock to the old system. Pardon the pun. She smiles. Uh, not that we'd recommend you do anything like that again, of course. After a couple of days rest at home, you should feel right as rain. Okay. She stops Is there going to the be door. a comment? Oh, and the uh, private room and care, the doctor gestures to your room, which you now notice looks rather expensive, has all been paid for by Mr. Bozeman. Uh, he left those flowers and said not to worry. He'll take care of the rest. Take the rest of the week off. He'll see you Monday, apparently. Who's Bozeman again? Is that the former, like the guy who trained us then left, or? Um, is that I our don't boss? actually remember who Bozeman was. I think that's I think that's the dude that trained us and left. I feel like that's probably important information. Probably. Robert Bozeman. Oh, he's your boss. Oh, okay. Uh, you come home from a particularly late shift to find the kitchen lights still on. Which isn't a good sign. Everyone's usually in bed by now. Softly opening the kitchen door, you meet Sam sat at the table. Bills and papers are strewn in front of them, as well as okay. what looks like their second pack of biscuits. This is the worst time to take this, but I kind of got it. And I want to be paying attention, because this feels like save the marriage moment, you know? Yeah, this is our save the marriage moment. <laughs> <laughs> so they shoot you a strange smile as you take a seat next to them. Okay. Sam frowns and goes back to the bills they're holding. Hey, sweetheart, just looking at the numbers again? Um, they look at the door to the pantry, now converted into your mother's bedroom. The pantry is now the mother's bedroom? Okay. Uh, we've been doing our best, but I think Cassandra needs a nurse to look at her now. Oh! We're putting our mom out to pasture, aren't we? Uh, yep, this is gonna be... This is all gonna come down on us. This is... This is all... This is all definitely gonna come down on us. Okay. 
Suddenly the bills are all you can see. Oh, I'm back. Hey, uh, so it looks like we're gonna be putting our mom out to pasture. At the very least, we're gonna look for a home for her. Um, fortunately, with the money that's coming in and what uh, we've been able to save, we've got more than enough to keep going. Sam smiles at you. I know things have been difficult and daily care won't be cheap, but she's your mother and we re and and we have to really don't we <laughs> so our mother is living in the pantry by the way <laughs> in our in pantry our pantry <laughs> apparently there's little we can't afford why are mm -hmm. we I'm assuming that if we took a different route this would be a harder a harder choice hmm. of course you'll pay for the care of your mother's needs <laughs> yeah we have we have big dog perhaps it's time to Consider the other option, though. <laughs> no, we're, we're we're not horrible people. <laughs> All those options are definitely there for like the second time you go yeah. through. Yeah, just and to you're see like, what I want to be a fucking fascist. Yeah, uh, the sword of Damocles sheath. At least for the moment, you grab the papers and stuff them into the drawer. Uh, it's such a relief to not have to worry about it anymore, or so you told Sam. Hours later, you're still awake, staring at the ceiling, thinking, How long will the money last? How long indeed? All we do is put on the best fucking show of our lives. That's all we gotta do. Not even a year has passed, by the way. <laughs> not even a fucking year. The downfall of society. <laughs> oh, it's great. I want Jeremy Donaldson to put on like a a show, <laughs> like he starts doing a dance. I want that. <laughs> it's the Jeremy Donaldson show tonight. Top story: song and dance from your favorite anchor man. <laughs> Just time to catch up on the okay. Alright, alright. Uh, Crazy Neil, we got the must have, must have tool for tool. every man. <laughs> all What's right. the name of it? Uh, Flard Master. Flard Master. Oh, I remember Flard. That was something that kept coming up last time. Bold new, new shampoo from Eye of the Beholder. Uh, let's rotate it out. We already gave them one. Oh, a sports board. The sports board game. That has to go in. Yes, absolutely. Oh, check power. There we go. Yours. Oh, I'll talk to okay. Oh, uh, let's finish up. So, it has to be sports Oh, we lost the la bottom one. Okay. Uh, uh, I think we keep avoiding the advanced stuff. I kind of want to put in Flard Master. <laughs> yeah, let's do that and then crazy. Sorry, no, we we don't have anything for the last. Oh, it's just it's two. Broken. Okay. Yeah. Letting it go to your head. She nearly blinded me. Ten seconds, everybody. I thought we were part of a team these days. Things are better, Jeremy. You know that. Stop being so high and mighty and do your job. Four, You'll have me fine three. too. Don't tell me. <laughs> Ty is so astute. I'm and I'm Jeremy Dawes. Well, it I'm makes our job easier. The establishment oh god, we have back. three images. The World Council has agreed today <laughs> to impose punitive sanctions on the people of this country. <laughs> the sanctions, which are broad ranging, include restrictions on the supply of oil and gas, food, clothing, and even some medicines. See. But how should we react? Okay. We ask the public. What do you think about all these sanctions? I doubt it make a lot of difference, Pet. <laughs> I've lived through two world wars and I smoke 40 a day. And if that ain't killed me, I doubt this will either. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Fascinating stuff. <laughs> Popular Prime Minister Julia Salisbury has released a reassuringly brave statement in response to the World Council's controversial announcement. This international declaration oh, is nothing short of outrageous. We oh, are God, a democratically elected no. government with massive popular support. We do not recognize these sanctions. And we encourage other socially progressive nations of the world to both resist and ignore them. Advance have struck fear into the heart of the international community. By showing that it is possible to have I want to know what these images are. So I want to know what we're. I know. I want to know what the other options are for that. As we have our own, we do not rely on the help of others to thrive. 
This country is entirely self-sufficient. We are oh, they're going the now more than ever. Yeah, they're going the self-sufficient is on your side. Oh, locked it. Thanks. Nice. Defiant stuff. But what do you, the public, think of our oh government God. stance? Oh God. Uh, be, make sure him real angry. Oh. I was wondering if you could tell me what you think of the government. What? That share of iridescent pricks? <laughs> Punishing success and rewarding laziness? They're taking this country down the bloody swanny! And it's not just me that thinks so. My wife Iris, she agreed. <laughs> a Flard Day's Night. Following the release of the Flard Master 5000, production of Flards are at an all-time high, requiring the new manufacturing facility in Grizzleford so to move flard. to 24-hour-a-day production. With people finding more and more uses for the uh, ever-versatile Flard, the team at Rewington Cyst certainly have their hands full to keep up demand. Uh, so, let's is do there C anything better neutral. than a handful of Flards? We asked Patrick to find out. <laughs> Patrick? Yeah, it's back to that lady. <laughs> of what pet? Flards. Uh, what are they? <laughs> you know, flards, like the... You know, the well, flards, you know, everyone knows what flards are. Flards. I don't know. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this has Wouldn't You Like to Know Weather Boy energy. <laughs> are you okay? A momentary lapse of reason? Commuters across the capital found themselves somewhat bemused. Uh, that is such wouldn't you like to know weather boy energy. Stuff. You're right. Oh In my a God. baffling start to the day, commuters found performers outside every okay, major station to think about all this. dressed and posed identically. Whether we're supposed to be amused or intimidated is anybody's guess, Jeremy. But most commuters didn't even stop to notice. Well, as long as it's not some okay. grand contemporary dance, that's probably harmless. But Let's how do, do we all feel a. about Disrupt okay. and their eclectic tactics? Robin Fundamentally, Bender. like, we need to make sure that we can't, How do you that advance doesn't just control oh, well, all talking. truth, Running even if some of these people say fucking shitty things, like, like <laughs> they, they so are people who believe things, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Iris doesn't speak her mind. I love everything about this. Oh my I've met god. so many people like that. Do you need me to get you some help? <laughs> He's got the doctors David Wong and England's fourth Borgen Horgan's Ford today announced their first oh, successful the harvest scene. in Dante's tent. Yeah. Although they can currently only grow a few fungal strains, the scientists seem to be staying positive as the following picture shows. The undauntable scientists chose to try and survive in the cave system while the complex rescue operation inches forward up here on dry land. Let's hope they're like strong enough. But with advance planning to spend a high watering amount of So we we chose an option of Patrick Bannon to like find out survival what or something like that in, in the previous stream and I think this is the this what are your is the reason on the costs why? of the rescue. Oh my god Patrick Bannon wash your mouth out with soap. You can't put a value on human life. You have to spend whatever it takes because one day you might be trapped in an underwater cave system and you would want exactly the same. Uh, I don't think so, actually, because uh, for legal That's reasons... That's eerily fitting, given what happened earlier. I am not a number. Applications finally open today for the new advanced team membership cards. Oh, God. A scheme by the government mm -hmm. to allow fast access to a all scheme. the public services being yeah. introduced daily. The team membership cards are entirely voluntary. But will be recognized as the kind of by all major organizations. <laughs> uh, yeah, B. I think we can get <laughs> Yeah. We're kind of, at this point, we're kind of like, no, no, fuck and it. It's like, it all seems too good to be true. It's telling that it's not government ID and service access, it's party cards. Yeah. It's just the party. Team membership cards? Absolutely bloody not. That's the thin end of the wedge, isn't it, Iris? First it's can I see your identification first? <laughs> Almost. And then it's Almost. She was so close to talking. So Sergeant so State close. Educated and Constable Regional Accent here can stick their truncheon up your dairy hair. Oh, crikey! They should call them what they are. They're bloody ID cards. Oh, for Christ's sake, what is it, Iris? Oh, I'm really not happy, Algernon! I'm so sorry. Crikey. <laughs> and Ferry tonight getting stuck in unless Shane has attempted to cash in on his bad boy status Shane celebrity Johnny Hamsleys announced a new line of real ale at a press conference earlier today 
The new brew, entitled Headbutt Ale, in reference to his controversies of last year, promises yeah, let's do a, nice a let's let this guy rebuild. We, we chose that option. We chose so headbutting. So what do you think of Johnny's latest <laughs> attempt to market his notoriety, Patrick? Okay, I like that the last stream we were like, we don't really see the effects, and now that's, Wise like, words, all yeah. this stream. Later tonight, <laughs> yeah. in a bit of a switcheroo, it'll be Journey yes, in the just cold. just a bit of a longer game. Yeah. With popular rapper Jay Zuss. Reserving our judgment. We'll both be chatting with a familiar team of thespians set to take the nation by by storm again that's all coming up uh, on tonight's national weekend D does that mean what i think it means uh, sorry i didn't even hear what they said i was waiting for the There's, countdown i think we're gonna get another live performance from the people from last stream oh yes i need more i need more <laughs> it is my favorite part of this game Some news as we return to our main story. The World Council today <laughs> Thankfully, that some news. Thankfully. And potentially illegal sanctions should be imposed upon this country. The sanctions, which come into effect immediately, aim to stop the flow of food, fuel, and even some medicines from reaching your pockets. Oh, Tonight, we have God. guests from across the continent to discuss this unprecedented situation. For advance, Peter Clement is at his home in Lanfordshire. Are you there, Peter? Yes, I can hear you, Jeremy. Thank you for having me. A momentous oh, day, Prime Minister. Douche. Are you shaken? Yeah. No, I don't scare that easy, I'm afraid, old son. I'm really excited about, about Camera 4. <laughs> well, joining us is Ivan Vodovich, Foreign Minister of Urkestan. Ivan, thank you for being here. Great pleasure. You, Megan Wolf, are like strongest guard of labor camp who wake up inside body of crazy, expensive prostitute. In my country, you may be worshipped as a god. Okay. Uh, Minister, <laughs> okay. one of those arguing most All right. strongly for these sanctions. How do you feel about Advance's defiant stance? Advance is like man who think he a big career in movies land. When actually, he am dirty sanitarian, screaming at me <laughs> and holding tiny penis in hand. <laughs> He's clearly not from Svenland, then. We have, like, some of the cleanest mental health facilities in the continent, yeah. <laughs> and welcome to Svenland's Minister of Mojo, Björk. I'm sorry, we don't appear to have your surname. Minister of Mojo? Björk, yeah. We don't use things like social just devices. Björk. Services, <laughs> like social Minister? <laughs> it's just Björk, Minister? yeah. Right, um, Björk. Your country spoke in favor of advance at the World your Council today, but you were noticeably absent when it came to the actual vote. Well, what a surprise. The hippies didn't show up for the fight. Actually, that's quite racist, because if you must know, we were going to go to the whole, like, boat thing, yeah? But it's actually the festival of Furelands here at the moment, where we honor the old generation. So, like, we all had full work with our grandparents <laughs> clean, yeah, whilst the boat was happening. And that's, like, a really, really time-consuming process, actually. You're like a sissy man. You have this expression, sissy man. It's like man with tiny penis who like to wash more than once a week. <laughs> Actually, that's quite homophobic, y'all. Yeah, oh, stop winding him. The jarring thing about this is that all three of them are just like shitty rich people yeah. who have like who have enough money to never have to deal with the consequences of believing something shitty. Yeah, basically. Like, <laughs> Like Anyone who disagrees with you, you can fire and replace with someone you like, you know? Could it be? No, it's this guy has a... Ivan's just worried that when the rest of the world sees how this guy's well got a, we're uh, doing, uh, they'll notice how yeah. much yeah. that he's thinks, not so uh, Because that's thinks he what these sanctions are, Megan. <laughs> They're the last pathetic gasp of an establishment in collapse. Wolf shut the gates, Ivan, old mate. Good. They can join other he seems to be in his element, though, this time. In Svenland, we have, like, serious... <laughs> now that he's a rich. Legislation. I like my friend Helga. She got arrested, yeah, for killing a butterfly that was hovering over her teal thing. I mean, an English, uh, jam sandwich. I used to know a girl called jam sandwich. She was a black cracker, too. I wonder what became of her. We seem to be wandering over from the news here. <laughs> human interest, Jeremy. The real people behind the headlines and all that. So, uh, if you're watching, Jan, give us a call. Yeah. Let's see if we can't organise a reunion. Crash, uh, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I, I'll have to run it past sure Mrs. Clement first, eh? <laughs> you like man trying to empty ashes of her in this place is into homecoming vein. Uh, soon you have tiny penis and beard full of secrets. In Is Svenland, everything about we really that? In for all that restricted <laughs> morgamy stuff, yeah. We're kind of flawed, actually. Okay. Well, it seems that we are running out of time. Yes. So before we go to the break, and um, briefly, if you would, gentlemen, 
with the people of this country facing shortages and possible power possible shortages and power outages. Okay, I needed to know which yes, one was the Ford Master. Thank you. Um, <laughs> possible shortages and power outages. Can nice you day. summarize your thoughts, <laughs> uh, Minister Beard? Well, from here, yeah, you all look a bit stupid really arguing about outdated devices, concepts like money. In Finland, we replaced currency with a system of bodily fluids back in the 1970s, and that's like a really hard to sanction, actually. Thank you, uh, Minister Votovic. Your country is like man who thinks he invented perfect trap for giant Newton Harry Bear. But really, he's just standing in field holding, holding his tiny penis, yes. Thank you, Minister. And finally, Prime Minister Clement. Let me talk to your viewers here, Jeremy. Oh, Lord. Don't worry, Let's everybody. rap, kids. Don't be a <laughs> Don't even lose a wink of sleep. We knew the oh rest God. of the world would react this way. And we're ready. As my old mum used to say, you can't make a shy pie without blocking a few toilets. Thank you, Prime Minister. Reassuring words there. <laughs> okay, okay, they're definitely starting to foreshadow a war. Yeah, oh God, yeah. I over your way this weekend. You fancy a quick nine? Yeah, sure. Front or back? <laughs> That's what I hope you're asking Megan Wolf for me. <laughs> She's out of your league, mate. She can hear you. We have to be more careful. It's all part of his long-term plan to get fired live on the news at six in front of the nation. Can someone warn him it's going a little too well? A plus. <laughs> hey, Brad. I You know I love working with frogs, should Dad. show up in blue. Sometimes they can be a bit chilly Same as regular sensory. Oh, that sounds bad, Keep an eye out there for the advanced blue waveform. And now there is. Okay. This bad boy is the Florid Master 5000. Are you still meant to bow? Wow. The safety can't be on. Otherwise, what? it could quite literally like take out a ring. It's weird that they say <laughs> government <laughs> censorship. Because <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Sorry, isn't the other censorship? Sorry, it's just not that bad. Right through the goddamn wall. That was great. <laughs> like, so like isn't the other censorship also censorship? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is that just internal policy and then this one's actually... Yeah, it, it's like government internal policy and then, like, for, like, us doing the broadcast and then, like, their actual thing. Well, Welcome we're back. safe and secure, I'm so I feel like we can afford well, to, like, ditch the political censorship if we need to. Yeah. Uh, I need to drop it. Too much. Too much. Who's joined by a very special guest. Jeremy. Thanks, Megan. I have the honor and privilege of being joined by hip-hop royalty. He's been called the son of the streets and... Oh, three? The father of and then the one when he starts to uh, talk. Not sure how that works, but whatever. Let's welcome Jesus. Sorry, I messed that up. Because three is okay. right there. Uh, thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. It's a real honor to be here on your show, Denise. You know, as a kid on yeah. the streets, I used to watch you. You should go to a wide while shop, he's talking, so and then go right back to him. Crazy. Mm -hmm. um, you've had quite the journey to be here today. Can you tell us about it? Well, you know, I try not to... Um, well, you know, Why? the past is the past, and I don't like to dwell on it. I understand you. But also. yeah, man, the streets is all I remember. Like, <laughs> my mother donated me to a charity shop soon after I was born. Elderly lady took pity on me. You know, she let me sleep on a pile of crime fiction until I taught myself how to walk. Wow, that's uh, quite hard. <laughs> on a pile of crime died, fiction. Like, died tragically, right there in my arms, man. <clears throat> Right next to Agatha I Christie. Her falling as she lay there next to the used homeware. <laughs> and in that moment, the used homeware. I was a child of the streets. I was just 18 years old. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't switching What's it because he's very long winded. What <laughs> a You're known for your direct and honest lyrics. Was your style informed by your troubled past? Oh, like I said, I, uh, I try not to talk about it. It's just, um,. Let's go wide. It's just too hard. Of course. I... For my first album, <laughs> I the first four times I stole, so I wouldn't starve. A small group of infants came to Let's see me. Let's get a little bit of Donaldson. Leader. They call me Mr. T Slice. Anyway, we were like. <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> Recently, you've been quite outspoken about the government. Yeah, fuck the government. Fuck Advance. Fuck Peter Clement. What is it that you object to so vehemently? Well, 
You know, they stole from us. They're taking our money and spending it, man. For not censoring? Probably. Why don't we let them do it? Let them get us in trouble first. Uh, I'll censor the swears. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. Uh, I'm doing my job. You don't. People have been rehoused on property seized from the historically wealthy. And that couldn't have been you, could it? Look, yeah. I worked hard to be here. I built this from nothing. And I deserve to be rewarded for that. Would you say you worked harder than, say, a farmer or a care worker? I don't know. But if people are taking something from my music, choose to value it, buy it, who's to say I don't? No one can take that away from me. Not even to help, say, vulnerable children, Mr. Jesus. What is it you're trying to say? I just don't oh, I'm getting the war here. Yourself. Let's go. I mean, is it <laughs> ideological or is it tactical? Well, it's more of a. Or maybe like, it's hereditary. Well, it's more of a or maybe like, stop it's trying to tie me in knots with your words, Jeremy. Stop trying to tie me in knots with I let the music speak for itself. I let the music and the people agree with me. Oh, this guy's definitely secretly got a rich dad. Well, oh, God, yeah. But you have given me a very easy segue out of a conversation that I promise you was much more painful for me than it was for you. <laughs> so here he is with his hit song. Mrs. Loveland's Tears. Oh no, um, I'm going to do something a little different. It's a new single I've been working on. Oh, so this is uh, unapproved, is it? Yeah. You love it. Excellent! <laughs> oh yeah, it's time for an incident. Let's deal with some consequences. So yeah. here he is with a new song. Aren't we lucky? It's Jesus! First, you're going to pay off. You're gonna pay back. Oh, it's governmental. That was all Clemens. That's great. <laughs> well, we're all different races from many different places. At any given moment, only one could be the greatest. So you can feel elation for your participation. Still two leaders in this motherfucking nation. Now we're getting sanctioned. Talking about expansion. Why does Julius require a massive fucking mansion? So fuck all your schemes. Only freaky team and i don't need your help to achieve my fucking dreams all right at the end of one of the measures when it really hits do like cut 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 so cut yeah you find your one of us get every single one of you follow the guy a little he's on free and you can call me crazy you can no one ever pays me but i won't waste a lifetime being motherfucking lazy i may be inventive my taste may be expensive but why would i get out of bed with no fucking incentive although it's contravention of your obvious intention i like to eat a little of the fruits in my invention you make us the same but we're not all the same all our dreams all our schemes all our means are not the same the best of the praise of the crest of the wave because we're only equal people when we're motherfucking play take this fact gonna stain it red gonna slam it into pink and clemmer's motherfucking head because he's big as shit he's got a job he's unthinkable it's time to stall a bottle with the motherfucking bitch for we're gonna lose so many points with advance yeah. it's gonna be great so this is for the snuff ones, the push and the shove ones, the folks that feel the burden of their motherfucking loved ones. Ones you had plenty like a motherfucker. The real frustrating thing about this is like, in the context of the game, I get it, but in the context of real life, I know a specific rapper who does this, yeah. and he's like mostly just mad because people are being anti-blade racist, and it's one of those things where it's like, ah, oh, this is a buddy. Uh, hold on. How do you? You make How do you say that phrase and not stop and go? But like I'm expecting a line where he talks about like Bill Gates is gonna put a microchip in us or something. I mean, I don't agree to disagree with you know saying that he's un fit for the job. Yeah. Well, you can't, like, just use a vague partisan affiliation as an excuse to, like, side with shitty people because you have yeah. a tangential affiliation. Yeah. Like, if it's about the issues, you gotta think what are those issues and which issues are prioritized. Like, advance is not making things better for people. Cause they're stale and corrupt, then you're angry, 
And this kind of censorship, though, was really bad in the early Bush era, like a little bit after 9 11. Oh, yeah. Yeah, after 9 11, that was, that was pretty hard censorship. Jay's us there with his new song. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio. I'm sorry. Um, I might not agree with you, but I'd just like to offer you an apology. I've just been told that there was some kind of issue upstairs, and an attempt was made to censor some of your notes. What? Are you joking? I'd just like to say to you and everyone at home that this was a mistake. This is absolutely ridiculous. I cannot believe this. Here at the National Nightly News, we pride ourselves on remaining neutral. Yeah, and we didn't censor any of the political. Independent of any outside interference. We did at the very beginning. You have my word. We will never censor ideas. We will never censor Back to you, Megan. <laughs> Well, a bit of oh, I think that's it. Up. If you stop, well, he, you maybe if you stop, he apologizes. Oh, up, maybe. We'll be speaking to a couple of familiar faces about their upcoming dramatic outing. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this. That's the ad. Just to remind you, fixing that old VCR. No, no, it's a new tape. Last ad break. Oh, right. We have to take out the Florida Master and Crazy Neil. Oh, trust me. Crazy Neil. My father's going to hear about this. I understand. There we go. This is unbelievable, Megan. I don't know what you're talking about, Jeremy. It's sports board. Oh my God! Can you believe it? It's sports board. Oh hell yeah. It's so frustrating hearing people talk like, yeah, I built my business from the ground up, I struggled. And like, finding out just how much they're fucking lying. Like, the people who will be like, yeah, I built this out of my mom's garage. It's like, you, you had a garage. Yeah. And also, like, that, the Bill Gates story where they, was it Apple or Microsoft that started out of the garage? Oh, uh, both of them, I believe, tote that. Okay, I think it's Microsoft is the one where they definitely started in Mom's Garage and also had $300,000 in startup capital. Yeah. Oh, we got the sports board people! This was the perfect lead-in. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what she's killing. Five, four, three... I love these people. Welcome That's so back. good. And no, you're not mistaken. Sitting across from us are some very familiar faces. <laughs> you really are too kind, Megan. It was only a yogurt commercial. Let's get a wide so Still they can see everybody. <laughs> Here to talk about his new show, we're joined by national treasure Tommy Harris, the national theatre's Philip Rayton, and national deficit Jeff Algebra. It's so lovely to have national you. National deficit. Tommy, <laughs> would you like to tell us about the show? You know what? I'd bloody love to. It's about That's me. It's amazing. about my life. And where did the idea come from? So, right, picture this. Um, their legs are kimbo, mid-session, sweat is pouring out of me like... One thing I really like about this guy is he looks like a dude I know in real life yeah. who could probably play this character just as good. <laughs> and not because this is what yeah. he's actually like, like, he kind of is. It's never yeah. entirely yeah. a joke. Yeah. Yeah. But just, like, the guy has the exact same, like... Yeah, oh my dumbass, kind of comedic timing. How would you like to... Spread your message of team spirit and cooperation across this fractured nation. How would you like to really make a difference in these desperate times? Oh, this is going to be go-getters. Yeah, yeah right. this is going to be great. I hope they created a musical. So, Jeff, the question on everyone's <laughs> lips is, what in God's name are you doing here? Ah, well, after the success of my debut work uh, and all the people that I've touched, I knew that I had a, a career Phrasing. in theatre. Yeah. Yeah? I've always been an admirer of Tommy from afar. So when my manager phoned and said that I'd been offered... Let's get a little reaction shot from the anchors. Because they're talking a lot. Yeah. I whipped my trousers off and got straight to work. Why did you do that? I, I do all my best work with my trousers off. Yeah, I've been told that too. No, no, I wouldn't say so. Right, Tommy. Just the about. casual yeah. fucking yeah. slap yeah. down. And some of the struggles that I've faced. It, it's like really getting to the okay. heart of. Okay, let's get reaction shots while this guy talks about yeah. how fucking yeah. full of himself he is. Tommy Harris. <laughs> Jesus, that was hard. Mm. 
catchy. Uh, we actually have some clips of the process of the show. Um, do you mind telling us what's going on here? Yeah, so the, the show is, is, is built around uh, two things that are very important to me. Uh, it mixes Maybe a wide. scenes from my life uh, as well as epic fantasy retellings yeah, 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 of yeah, yeah, scenes yeah. from my life. <laughs> the people fucking nodding. But Dad, <laughs> you promised you'd come to my graduation. <laughs> I'm sorry, son. But you're an embarrassment. But Dad, you <laughs> promised you'd come to my graduation. Back, demon! Back to the hells! We should get a Donaldson reaction. Philippa, oh, shit. <laughs> oh no, like? we missed the Donaldson Post reaction. I always feel bad <laughs> when I miss a Donaldson reaction. Of treading the boards at medium scale <laughs> regional theatres, Megan. <laughs> and for once, this show really gives me something to sink my teeth into. What was different about this show then? Tommy, uh, and Mr. Harris's show really lets me show my tremendous range as an actor. I've always suffered from typecasting, uh, forced to play the same tired character. She gets a new hat. God forsaken <laughs> soap opera. Well, God forbid. Yeah, okay, let's get a little wide. But yeah, oh, this, okay. this, All this right. show has really let me just, just go there. Jeff, the viewers at home will be dying to know exactly what is it that you bring to the show. Oh, question. <laughs> Uh, I think these guys what do you when do? I say that it's my uh, my steady hand on the tiller, my arm <laughs> the shoulder approach, which really brought the production from strength to strength. Absolutely right. <laughs> Jeff's contributions are immeasurable. <laughs> Can you give us a sneak peek of anything else that might be in the show? I couldn't cut to it. Yeah, no. <laughs> We've got lots of exclusive first-hand experiences of Tommy's time in the underground sports board scene. And some epic fantasy retellings of Tommy's time in the underground sports Let's board scene. Let's see the, like... <laughs> we need to get the Donaldson reactions every time there's yeah. an epic fantasy. <laughs> You'll never take the sacred pass! And am I right in saying this was officially commissioned by the government yeah yeah all all paid for by the taxpayer which you know t to be honest is actually a lifesaver really yeah i think it's yeah. fair to say that without advances support we'd have had to cut the finale yeah. which oh frankly, no a travesty <laughs> oh no okay we gotta get reactions on this every night oh, absolutely it's a metaphor for what And the public are footing the bill, are they? <laughs> Too bloody right they are. Between the cost of my tour bus uh, and the dry cleaning of my tour Okay, get some Donaldson reactions as this guy talks about all the Amazing. Amazing. Oh, oh, oh god, they're going too fast. I can't get Donaldson reactions. All over ah. the nation. And people can see it for absolutely free, all courtesy of Advance. Isn't that incredible, Jeremy? Yes, it's unbelievable. Like, well, thank you all so much for coming. <laughs> Next time we see you, no doubt, you'll have taken our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all we have time for tonight. What was uh, tomorrow, Crazy Neil Pete? But I'll be interviewing okay. the world's most attractive horse. I'm Jeremy Donson. And I'm Megan Wolf. And from all of us here, have a peaceful night. There we go. That's the ads. Let's get reset for tomorrow, please. Hey, we must stop bumping into each other like this, eh? <laughs> 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 oh. Just... Oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I felt that. Yep. Uh, that was beautiful. Absolutely fucking beautiful. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> you received a generous bonus. Okay. Yeah, are we? Are we gonna get any punishment for? Not oh, complying? yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, good. All right. Good. We're doing it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's sabotage ourselves. <laughs> uh. Oh, there's behind the scenes stuff. Oh, that lights camera locked down. That might be where that like ending bit came from in yeah. like, the dream sequence. Yeah. I 
not gonna lie, I'm gonna watch that. I love <laughs> behind the scenes stuff. Mm-hmm. Especially and, like FMVs are real neat. Oh, FMVs are so good for it. And honestly, there's not enough behind the scenes for video games. There really isn't. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it was. Oh, um. Oh, what the heck is that game? Devil May Cry 4? That had behind the scenes of how they filmed, like, their CGI and stuff like that. How they did, like, their motion capture. And mm. it was, like, the funniest thing ever. It was it was fantastic. <laughs> it's All been right. ten days. Yep. It's a lazy Sunday afternoon in summer. With you and Sam making the most of both kids being out of the house. You bang your head coming out of the cupboard with the last two slices of homemade cake. It used to be uh, uh, much easier to store things in the pantry. It's rare for you and Sam to actually get to finish sweet things in this house and savor every moment. Um, Just as you take your last bite, you hear the sound of the front door slamming. That'll be Charlie, back from the (laughs) go-getters. I really want to put like an upbeat attitude to all of this. (laughs) You can hear him practically running to come find you. He's grinning from ear to ear when he does. I've got some big news! You and Sam play along, sitting attentively with bated breath. (laughs) Ready? Charlie asks, and you both nod enthusiastically. With a flourish, he reveals a new badge from his pocket and proudly presents it to both of you to examine as he announces, As of today, I'm a member of the first tier of Cohesion Cats. (laughs) Grin and bear it, smile and nod, there bottom may, reaction. There's way more stuff I'm going to be doing. I'll be working some weekends, but it'll be really cool. Sam congratulates Charlie, as you can't help but frown. This is a big step up for teenagers. Uh, you and Sam grin back at your son. Yep. <laughs> I, I don't know, one or two. My vote's two. Alright, fair enough. We need to stop. Because if it's us starting the fight every time, then it's us starting the fight every time. True, true. Just happy, be happy with your child's achievements, even if they're supporting a regime. <laughs> a grown-up well, child. In another couple weeks. You've always had dinner as a family for the important events, and tonight is no exception. You even invited Chris round as an olive branch. As Sam, or Sam did, and that's why, apparently. Oh, this title. This title. Yep. It'll be the last time you're all going to be together for a while. So far, you've managed to avoid fighting with Chris or Susie over politics, which Sam is no doubt grateful for. With her exams and your work, you've not seen much of Susie lately. Of course, it's a squeeze having your mom and Chris around, but you make it work, just like Christmas. Though, hopefully, with fewer outbursts. So Alex and I believe... So, Alex, I believe you had a few words, Sam pointedly asked, uh, nodding towards Susie. Um, Your daughter cocks an eyebrow with a quizzical expression, and you can't help but see a little of yourself in it. Ah, yes, of course. What's this about, Susie asked, laughing as she takes a drink of her champagne-adjacent sparkling wine. So, our little Susie. (laughs) Champagne-adjacent. So, our little Susie... Come on out with that, Alex. We're waiting, Chris laughs, clinking glasses with Susie. Chris seems to be in good spirits, at least. Uh, even if they're uh, chiming in unhelpfully, as usual. I just want to say... Let's not start the fight. I just want to say, we're proud of you, Susie. Well done getting into med school. Honestly, that that seems like the only option here. Unless we just yeah. really want to fight Chris. Like, Especially because, like, that's fun. not even a mean comment. That's only a yeah. mean comment you perceive when this dude's already been aggravating you passive-aggressively. Yeah. Like, uh. if if it weren't for the other ones, I feel like you could kind of just be like, all right. All right. <laughs> oh, Susie's mischievous smile becomes a grin as she gets up and comes round the table that gives you a big hug. I'm going to miss you. You can see Sam start to tear up as they stand and join the embrace. Miss us. Are you going somewhere? A good question. Susie laughs, breaking the hug. No, you're not getting rid of me yet, but I'll uh, probably have to leave when I get my first posting. Oh, hush Mm -hmm. now, let's not talk about that. Sam cuts her off, smiling. And the rest of the evening passes as a happy blur, and even Chris behaves themselves. You couldn't be prouder. 
okay, I totally thought that was going to be about Charlie. I totally yeah, thought right? that was going to be about Charlie. Oh, thank God. <laughs> or Chris. See, now you're making the mistake. <laughs> no, Chris is Chris is the Chris is the brother. Charlie is oh. our son. Oh, you thought it was going to be about I thought it was going to be about Chris. Oh, okay. I thought it was like Charlie coming back being like they made me murder someone. <laughs> <laughs> Shopping. Something that always seemed so tedious before the sanctions has become even more of a chore now. You managed to get almost everything you need for the family this evening, but you'll have to come back tomorrow to get through the week. There's a queue to leave the car park, though it's hard to make out why in the dark. Hopefully whatever's causing it won't be long. As the final car in front of you dries off, you realize the queue is actually due to a checkpoint set up at the exit. A friendly looking man in an advanced uniform, CCO emblazoned in, the, in a number of places, approaches your car and knocks on the driver's side window. Roll it down. Good evening, nothing to worry about. I'll just. I was just wondering if I could see your team membership card, please. Weren't those cards supposed to be voluntary? Sorry, I don't have them. Ah, that's not a problem. We've got forms with us right here, and we're more than happy to, s <laughs> to sign you up. The man gestures to his colleague behind him, a young woman in a similar uniform. Let's call them on actually doing the things they say. <laughs> I thought they weren't required. Yeah, I thought these cards weren't required. Well, strictly speaking, they're not. But there's also loads of benefits to having them, and no reason not to get one. Yeah, no. No thanks. No. Almost instantly, the friendly demeanor is gone, and his expression is one of stern disapproval. Well, obviously I can't make you sign up, but I would strongly recommend you do, and soon. We wouldn't want people to think that you had anything to hide, would we? He takes a step back and gestures for you to drive on. <laughs> You're sure you see him waiting, writing something down in the rearview mirror as you head home, somewhat more hurriedly than before. Clearly advance are keen on everyone joining the team. The team. Look, they already know that I'm refusing to participate in the censorship. They're very <laughs> easily going to figure out. <laughs> They're going to figure it out, yeah. All right. It's a Saturday, one of your few days off, and you've uh, made the most of Yeah, and you've made the most of it. As soon as afternoon draws on, the invitation sits uh, pinned to the fridge, staring accusingly at you. The Channel One Gala is a mandatory work event. Bozeman was very quick to tell you. Also, don't you dare be late. Wait, so the bo I misread the bottom one for a second. It was like, you already missed your anniversary this year. And I was like, oh, are we missing like a birthday? And then it's like, you're not giving up another Saturday? It's, it's a Saturday. I and mean, it, it's a Saturday, but Saturday is supposed to be like the date night, right? So, so yeah, it's, it's an it's also, active, like, it's an active act, I guess. Well, he also said mandatory. Yeah, it's probably not wise to risk Bozeman's wrath. Better go. Best start getting ready. You wonder if Sam will give you a lift. A drink or two might help with the enforced office socializing. Hopefully it wouldn't be too bad. After all, you're pretty good at your job, right? public firing. Uh, National Nightly News. You arrive Ooh. on time. Barely. And at the... Oh, ew, it's a gala. Sauvignon. <laughs> uh, one of the oldest and grandest hotels in the capital. You're surprised to see a queue to get in. And quickly realize it's because people are being searched at the door by some very military-looking personnel in smart attire. Uh, while you're waiting, you can't help but notice how very opulent the building is. Uh, possibly the fanciest place you've been in your life. You submit to being patted down. <laughs> With a sigh of relief, they let you into the hotel. Once inside, you're directed to the Grand Ballroom. Following the signs, you marvel at the sheer scale of the place and the amount of armed security guards. When you uh, finally arrive, a very severe-looking woman at the door asks your name. I'm Alex Winston. She curtly checks her list before whispering something to the woman beside her. 
You made it just in time to be seated before dinner. Please follow a manual here to your table. The waiter smiles at you and opens the uh, gray, the great double doors, gesturing you to enter. Immediately, you can see why it's called the Grand Baller. Uh, you pause for a second to take it all in. You feel a slight tap on your arm, and Emmanuel gestures for you to follow him. He seats you at a table in the central floor area with a decent view uh, of the stage. Clearly, you're in Bozeman's good books at the moment. Uh, you're sat with some colleagues that you've seen around the Channel 1 offices before, but don't really know all that well. One of them informs you far too excitedly that it's a very corporate evening of awards and speeches. Well, at least the food should be good. Dinner is indeed lovely, and with the help of the, no doubt, very expensive wine, conversation flows easily enough. In fact, much to your surprise, you're actually presented with the award for Best Newcomer at Channel One Family. Well, this is unexpected. <laughs> as you walk up to collect it, you recognize the presenter as Dr. Adrian Atkinson Blimey of Incisors fame. Uh, he thanks Advance for sponsoring this year's gala before specifically thanking Prime Minister Julia Salisbury and Peter Clunt for being in attendance tonight. Oh dear God. <laughs> As you take to the stage, you see the frontmost central table does indeed seat the Prime Minister as well as Bozeman. Uh, Megan and some others, uh, some other very well to do types that you don't recognize. That explains all the security. All right. You're a little nervous and splutter out a quick praise for Advance in Channel 1, or you make a joke thanking Dave for fleeing the country and leaving you his Definitely guys. number two. <laughs> Fuck Advance. <laughs> Most of the room breaks out into polite laughter, uh, but you see that neither the Prime Minister's crack up is so much as a smile, and neither does Bozeman. He's too busy, frantically flipping between Peter and Julia for a reaction, glaring daggers at you. <laughs> Eventually, they join in light applause, as Adrian ushers you back to your seat. Yeah, like, yeah. If, this, if this whole premise was supposed to be about redistributing wealth and power, then I'm sorry. I'm not your friend. I'm your no. employee. Yeah. Better them than you. Not your fucking buddy. You finish off the rest of the meal, listen to the last few speeches, and head home. Providing Bozeman invites you to the next one, it should be something to look forward to. <laughs> And if he doesn't, we get our Saturdays back. Yeah, if he doesn't, we get our Saturdays back, so fuck it. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just looking at all of these, and I'm wondering what the heck is coming next. She's <laughs> crying, and I'm wondering. We've already seen number three. We've seen number yeah. three. Number four, he's doing a workout while drinking, which is so accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that one looks like it's probably describing how living situations are shit. <laughs> Heat wave. Is it actually hot out? Let's see. Ooh, look at that. You can see it. Oh, yeah, that's hot. Oh, that's... we're going to have to turn the fan on. That's hot. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to turn that fan on. Oh, right. Oh. Oh no! That's gonna be frustrating. Okay, what do we got? Uh, bold new shampoo. Come to bumblings. Yep. RS Rainbow. Remington Sist impressive new home computer system. Uh, let's do. Yes, but he is. Okay. Oh, I can eject Oh, Andy. I don't know what the fuck so his name is, do want? I? He's here to keep us safe. Are we doing like three or just two? He was nine. Uh, we can do three. We have the new Funai. Let's do another crazy news. No advance. So, we've got any actual real news tonight. Well, the world's on fire. Is that good enough for you? Going in five, four, <laughs> three. <laughs> good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our I do really like the fact that, like, Siege you can both stand Jeremy Donaldson, but also, like, to enforce the unjust uh, and Thor looks sad. Now entering their tenth week, in a statement from Team Hedgehog uh, a short time ago, Prime Minister Julius Salisbury. They look the yeah, same. Be, I can't tell why. Yeah. <laughs> 
The regrettable decision taken by the World Council this morning have left the citizens of this country isolated and fearful. But advance have prepared for this day. Our stockpiles are large. Our wealth is unfathomable. And we and will defend hot. our citizens with every last breath from this latest brutal and calculated act of war. We are with you, one team, indivisible and strong. Thank you. Top beer. As his new line of ales goes from strength to strength, Johnny oh God, yes. team seems to be really capitalising on his success. The former <laughs> Gold toilet. Turned entrepreneur seems to be as comfortable uh, in the ballroom as he ever did on okay, the Give him okay. a chance to rebuild his life. This, okay. this could be... Projected sales figures yet again. I do also, love Gold Toilet. To expand his beer empire and like further, all the influencer things, at least that's an actual industry that produces a product that people want. It's not like, hey, here's a monkey picture. Yeah. creative juices and then sell them at a tidy profit. In it to win it. Exciting news from Advance today with the announcement of a new monthly prize draw for all team membership card holders. Every month, lucky winners from across oh the country okay. will be picked at random to receive what Team HQ are describing as unique prizes worth more than money used to be. Take up on the scheme has been much higher than expected, and if this lucky winner's delighted face is anything to go by, it looks like pretty soon everyone's going to have to have one. Flood hearted, a shocking inspection of Remington Smith's new flood factory has revealed health concerns that could leave the groundbreaking facility's future in doubt. After the public's lukewarm response to the industrial plant, the troubling report that found a possible long-term risk of shop floor workers could be the final nail in the coffin. Beep. CEO Sophia Rivington, however, We've was given too much to that her employees would remain loyal. Mm -hmm. But perhaps she spoke too soon. As these photos clearly show, Look, workers if people are want to promote a new product, that's seriously. fine. They want to get us to use our previous promotion advice. as a reason it to, like, hide their failures? Well, no. The doctor away. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Progress today for the stranded scientists of Dante's Taint. <gasps> Dante's Taint! The leading their rescue mission <laughs> is announced. The trapped team have survived in the cave system for many months now. But hope is on the horizon as the expedition leader hey. is announced by the board of <coughs> theoretics. A respected professional with decades of experience, training, and knowledge Captain Audrey Aerospace is said to be the Audrey only choice to successfully save the troubled scientific excursion, but an unfortunate one to be sat next to at a dinner party or social occasion. Life during wartime, as if we didn't have Well, she's not being hired for a dinner party. Internal nope. problems are growing for the government. She's getting hired to go to the aerospace, apparently. <laughs> and also to save people from Dante's thing. Scuffles thing. broke out after the protest, resulting in multiple arrests and the injury hey. of three community cohesion officers. Advanced have yet to comment. The reckless fire will certainly be remembered by all those who have seen these striking images. As their actions escalate, people across the country are asking themselves who are disrupt and what exactly do they want? Other than a new box of matches, of course. All this, and I'll be talking to some people with fascinating medical conditions, as well as one of the contenders in this year's Feline Football Championship. Feline Football Championship? That's okay. all I nice. National Nightly News. Robin Short, Megan Wolf. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, turn it back on. Maybe. Oh. Looks like it's. Maybe Thanks. So. Yeah, I didn't even notice that it turned off. Um, It's nice to know that I have some time on it, though. Yeah. But first tonight, our team of correspondents has been dispatched to every corner of the country to see how the people of this great nation of ours are coping with this unprecedented hot weather. First, let's go to Megan Wolf in Shining on Sea to see what this scientific community sea. has to say. <laughs> Megan, how's the weather there? Jeremy, thank you for asking. I'm here with Dr. Anna Burns of the University of Princeford. Are you enjoying the weather as much as I am? Oh, yes, it's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> Look at how upset he is. And you're part of a team carrying out a study oh, to just 
what's causing this unbelievable heat, is that right? Yes, that's correct, yes. We want to be able to reassure the public once and for all that there's absolutely nothing to worry about and that they can enjoy Nailed their it. sunstroke and fossil fuels in peace. <laughs> <laughs> stroke and fossil fuel. Oh, very much so. I can say without any hesitation, there's really no cause for any concern here. I I've actually left my car running. <laughs> so tell us about <laughs> this experiment. Ah, well, we take data from weather stations from all over the world, along with atmospheric samples, and we take all that and we feed it into this state-of-the-art computer, and very soon computer. we'll be getting a high-tech readout of the results. Blimey, that sounds very fancy. Ah, I should just say, um, uh, none of this would be possible without the generous support of Rivington Fist. This is all thanks to their unrivaled investment in our future, and may I just say, complimentary personal anecdote. Oh, here we go! And, ah, as expected, everything is absolutely fucked. Hang on. This... this can't be right. Uh, right, but uh, obviously you said a second ago that everything is absolutely fine, so... Well, actually, under concern level, it just says, Why, God, why? We should be celebrating these wonderful results, I think. <laughs> yeah? We need to evolve gills within 40 years. <laughs> Here it just says, Shit, shit, shit. Look at you. This is meant to be a celebration. You can't go around looking like that. Shit, 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 shit. There you go, shit, much shit. better. Can I just say thank you again to Sophia Remington for <laughs> providing all of this? Everyone, we don't have long. Time is running out. running out. out. Absolutely right. That is all we have time Abandon for. Abandon hope and return to the forest. Just keep turning on the fan. I enjoy that. <laughs> I'd like to thank Dr. Burns for coming in on the okay, The sea please. will reclaim us all. There you have it, Jeremy. <laughs> proof, if proof be need be. That everything is just fine. I'm Megan Wolf. Here with science. Back to you. I kept thinking Megan it was going to switch to him, but I'm to do some actual <laughs> news. Next, let's go to Robin Short, who's in Scritchford with some of the winners of this week's team membership lottery. Robin? Thanks, Jeremy. I'm here in Scritchford with Gary Failsafe. A janitor at Gary the local Felsafe. school and Amelia. I love the last names in this. Inspiring poet. <laughs> Both of you were drawn at up. random from those who hold team membership cards to receive this week's amazing prize. How do you feel? Filled with fervent euphoria. <laughs> yeah, good, yeah. Yeah, good, yeah. And all that we had to do was fill in a quick form or two. Wow, that sounds so convenient. But we're all dying to know. What have you won? That's right, Robin. I've won dinner with Julia <laughs> Salisbury at <gasps> one of the capital's top restaurants. Ooh, swanky. Hmm. And I've been invited to Peter Clement's house to help him dredge the gutter in. <laughs> That's absolutely terrific. You must <laughs> both be over the moon. I've written a poem about it. So, can you tell me about the moment when you first heard the news? Oh, we don't have a well, phone anymore. Oh, we just have a, against a particularly we just have a button. difficult slaughter, probably one of the six traumas, when the headmaster came and found oh, me. I was involved in a similarly brutal conflict with a particularly arduous stanza. So you were both polishing turds? No, I don't like to polish them. I like to keep them intact for my collection. Oh. Oh. How unexpected. <coughs> I don't <laughs> polish turds. I write poetry. Yep. Potato, potato. So, Gary. Hey, do you think Peter Clement's going to let me keep the contents of his downpipe? <laughs> There's no harm in asking, I suppose. <laughs> God, that is the weirdest no, thing. thank you. Okay. Gary. When you signed up for team membership, was it in hopes of winning the lottery? Or Look at him, he's just ranting. <laughs> I like a slutter, of course, but no, the boss said I had to sign up to keep coming into school. Very sensible. It's important to know who we're trusting around our children. Oh, I have an unpublished book of sonnets about children. Perhaps you'd like to hear one. <laughs> no! Or an anthology of haikus on the death of innocence. I'd rather hear about Gary's turd collection. <laughs> really? I thought you might say that. Oh. Are you all right? Yes. Wait, why did he it's just coming. leave? He's going to why go get his he... turd collection. He's going to go get his turd collection, all right? Let him get his turds. And it's delicious. Mm. Right you mm. are. Today on the show, there's no news. Just a man who keeps multiple poos. Yeah. This big one's my favorite. See how it's fibrous. It's really lovely texture. <laughs> Would you encourage other people to enter for their chance to win? If, if it's colour you're looking for, take a gander at all blue eyes here. The national news lost its way. 
when it covered some crap on a tray. Some of these are quite rare. Maybe that was unfair. And that's all we have time for today. <laughs> Back to you, Jeremy. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. That was what great. a lucky pair they are. And finally in this segment, it's over to Patrick Bannon, who's gone to the smelliest town in the country to see how the unprecedented weather is affecting the locals. Patrick? Hello there, Jeremy. Hello, yes. I'm here live in Grizzleford, which has recently voted the smelliest town in the country. And I have to say that, you know, in this heat, the smell really is. I mean, it's... it's the it's, fan it's, keeps it's, turning it's off and it's bugging me so much. Barry Lardos, <laughs> mate. You've lived here your whole life. How'd you put up with the stink? Well, we're just all very proud of our achievement, to be honest with you. You can tell that. Look at him. Proud of time. Do you know what it's like, son? Being the second smelliest town. No, I don't. Living in the shadow of Arsminster. I smug fuck. <laughs> and who's laughing now, eh? <laughs> so what, not me, that's for sure. So what happened, mate? Uh, right, the good people from Rillington Swiss came in and saved the day with their factory. You're talking, of course, <laughs> about the newly built Flage factory. Yeah, they gave us this big presentation on jobs and growth. But as soon as we heard about the stench, we paid them whatever they wanted to put it here. Think not affect your life in every way, Barry. I mean, perhaps if you're filling in a tax return or completing the physical act of love. It's strong at first, but you get used to it after several weeks of your first bout of sickness. The judges were very impressed. So, oh, what, what, what's the sickness? Uh, oh, that's nothing to worry about. It takes a few minutes before you develop any symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, folk are saying something about the production line and how they dump carcasses directly into the water main, but I think it's probably a few valves on the high street. On the high street? Uh, should I see a doctor? What, what are the symptoms? See, well, the first this whole thing about smelliest town ever makes me think of, um... <laughs> then folk experience a lot of inhibition. What's it called? Uh, yeah, <gasps> Espinola, that's, that's the one. The up near Sudbury, it's a paper track. town and the whole thing just reeks <laughs> oh, of pulp. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Randomly bursting into song. Followed immediately by delusions of grandeur. Randomly bursting into song, you say? Hello, it's sexy Patrick Bannon, and he's wearing sexy shorts now. Oh my god, look at me. I'm like a stallion. I'm gorgeous. Why didn't you tell me? I should take my shirt off. You know what? I'll even let you touch me if you want. Uh, oh, that, that will be the bout of undeserved self confidence. <laughs> Love the Bannon. Feel the Bannon. <laughs> Oh, I really want to cut to Donald's, but it'll ruin our score. All that's left now are the hallucinations and unconsciousness. Now, Dotty, was that you? Why are you made out of elbows? You know I don't eat opinions. Ah, ah. Oh, don't worry, folks. Uh, once he wakes up, he'll be just fine. We'll just find a place to stick him where it won't matter how many times he evacuates his bowels. That would be unfortunate. Right. That's all here from Grizzleford, a town that's really making a stink. I'm Barry Lardons. Back to you, Jeremy. Thanks, Barry. <laughs> With a naval blockade being set up around our coastline as we speak, when we come back, I'll be talking to three members of the general public who appear to be here purely for medical reasons. Don't go away. Unless, of course, you've got something better to do. We'll be back after these messages. This next section features a potentially controversial guest. Advance may request some censorship if he goes to... Ooh! Oh yeah, right now. Let's do it. Here. And I can't do this anymore. You say this every Friday. I've yeah. done something. There what do you go. mean? Jeremy? My mic is still on. <laughs> okay. He's done something, apparently. Danger cars. <laughs> Colorful germ pit. This way. Come to Bumley. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Cat football. We should be doing an interview with the war minister or a report from Grantham Downs. Even the weather would be more fucking relevant than this. Jeremy, please, just breathe. It's just something like to keep people's minds off things. Exactly, which is wrong. People's minds should be very much on things. Christ, it's so fucking hot. Please take your seats as quickly as you can. I can't. He's gonna anything. lose his I'm shit. From Sands and the hole. Get over yourself, Jeremy. Why don't you stop feeling sorry? 
freezing yourself for five fucking five, four, three. <laughs> Welcome back to, to the National Night of News with me, your host, Jeremy Donaldson. When he Later, mentions the guests go to the full wide and then back to him. First cat football team, Professor Pumpkin. But first, I'm joined by three guests with some balmy bodily behavior. Here we go. Like we joining me. It's like live. It's like yeah, wide. It, it's still Isn't red. Right, Miss oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why. If you look underneath it, those are negatives. Yes. Tell us. What and like all the orange is what you should be <laughs> swapping, <laughs> swapping to as reactions. Oh. It's kind of because he's getting makeup done. So. Oh. Is. Okay. Yeah, now it's now it's good. Also here is Frankie Steampipe. Um, perhaps you could explain to us exactly what your physiological foreboil is. I'm here to say it's high time people like me were respected. We're constantly overlooked in the workplace. We're whispered about on buses, and we're asked politely to leave children's birthday parties. And it's disgusting. <laughs> Wait, focus on him while it's still going. Bowels have comic timing. And <laughs> <laughs> me too, man. Uh, me too. How do you cope with that, Mr. Truman? With a combination of booze, self-hatred, and hardcore pornography. Is that right? Not according to my therapist. <laughs> well, yeah, in funny. that case, um, let's speak to Rose. Tell me, how does the hiccuping impact you? I get shushed a lot, which is hard. <laughs> hard. Fine. Well, I find it really fucking irritating. Do people tend to believe your story? Fuck no. Actually, I've been surprised at how much support I've received. <laughs> and Frankie, um, why have you come here today? Because my wife left me, and I was hoping that the fame would win her back. We've started a group of people with ailments deemed broadly comical by society. It's called Take Us. Seriously, that's right. And we, we bloody well mean it. <laughs> and who's joined so far? A bunch of fucking losers. It's just us so far. And how much success have you had? Well, we've seen some real positive changes. I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's been a runaway success. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> not a single person come to our fun run, and all of our leaflets fell in the canal. <laughs> Well, Miss Piercy, um, some people are saying your condition was actually caused by the shock. Maybe we should get a wife to throw it in there. Yeah. What do you think? Come down, Mr. Donaldson. That's absolute rubbish. What would it be like to have a pair of tits? <laughs> Could you? Um, <laughs> ah, sorry, damn it! I missed the sensor button. Very odd. What was I thinking? That you're a team fuck puppet. No. Or a sellout cunt. <laughs> Apologies. Just reminded that he can't help it. And hey, if this isn't live television, then what is it? Fuck fest of propaganda masquerading as journalism. <laughs> <laughs> right, Frankie, Rose, tell us, how can the viewers get involved with your cause? Yes, we're holding a, a sponsored run in um, Capital <laughs> the Park uh, next weekend. It's called the No Smiles 13 Miles. No, it's called the No Laugh Half. What did I say before the show? That it was the team. Let's do a wide while they're fighting. No, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, didn't we may that. have to end that there, unfortunately. What a half. Oh, wow, look at Vance. <laughs> oh. Oh yes! I had Wait, to get a shot. Demand respect. Ah yes. Well, later I'll be talking to Professor Pumpkin. Wait, get the wide. See if we can show it happening. We should show them. Ah fuck. Is that really necessary? No, it isn't. Let go. Not you. Unhand him at once. It's not enough. That's enough. Enough. What are you doing? I'm trying not to piss myself. Alex, come. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare cut to the ads before I tell you to. <laughs> you in the broadcast center. Bonesman's little escape room. You listen to me. You cut to the ads before I tell you to, and I will kill every single person in this studio. <laughs> I am thinking about what I'm doing. Oh. I've been thinking about it for a long time. Can we swap we it so that be. the disrupt Christ one is after this? Like right after this? Hot. Oh, yeah, we could choose which one plays. Do the real news before it was all lost me when Let's I do it. Yeah. Uh, I have it in the bottom. Right, C. We are on the yeah. of a it's already in the right spot. Which the world hasn't yeah, it's, our, it's, it's in C, so I just have to click the enemy C. Is at the gates, Isn't this the Remington's it? Fist so one that's coming three. next? No, or do you, you, oh. you click the button to play it. Oh, okay. I thought, like, the order was what did it. Nah. It's just a good way to go with the order. 
Have I changed my mind? Jeremy, lock the doors. Lock the doors? Yes, Jeremy. Now. Good. Yes. Now. Right then. You in the broadcast centre. Alex, you listen to me. You pay attention. Now, I'm sure you've already loaded up exactly what you're going to play in the commercial, but today is going to be a little bit different. Look to your right. Uh, I, I already, I already way ahead of you there, bud. <laughs> and when I say so, and not before, you play it. You've got about 15 seconds, so I wouldn't waste any time. Now, all cameras. Alex, I assure you I'm for playing that tape. This station does not negotiate with terrorists. I hope I've made myself clear. You seem to know what to do. Eat shit, Bozeman. comes out of this studio yeah. is either one-sided or for now, we're going to show the other side for you. For a bit of fucking balance. I the good old days. Alex, play the fucking tape. Now, I don't want to hurt any of you. If I see anything I don't like, I oh, will not Alex, to you're going to get me in trouble with that. Let's hope you made the right Good call. evening. Reset Alex. the system for the third second. Awesome I imagine the ratings are going to be through the roof. You've heard them talk about this on the news. People are watching, man. I don't know what the fuck you want. The other resistance. It's time you knew the truth. It was your you fault for hiring a journalist. You know the elderly are not a burden. Uh, you know the rich were not all evil. You think I'm gonna sit here and you know cover something up? Card is an ID card. I would love to do another run of this where you just love advance. Like, you just, you, you just <laughs> jerk them. <laughs> just see how bad you can get. A shadowy figure with a distorted voice. You've seen it so many times in the movies. Well... Is it looking outside? Hot as balls. All right. <gasps> no. My name is Alan James. It's Alan James. I used to try and shock people for a living. <laughs> oh, is he coming clear? Coming clear? I should now say. Now we live in a time where perhaps you need to be shocked. It's Alan James. Perhaps we need to wake up. Advance are coming for our freedoms. They're coming for the fruits of our labors. They will take our wealth. They will euthanize our parents and smiling throughout. They will turn our children against us if we voice our concerns. How but we long? don't have to accept it. A okay. great many people long? already won't. You can resist. And you can disrupt. Can we open on the advance guy? Talk with us. <laughs> Join yeah, us. Yeah, It isn't hard. I don't know. We're everywhere. This wasn't what I planned. I mean, some of it was. I have speech. Look. This was unexpected. This was unexpected. So what now, Jeremy? So what now, Jeremy? It was supposed to be your day off. God, please, like, don't do any more stupid things today. Come on. How long? You already lost. Welcome back to the National Mighty News. Joining me unexpectedly, <laughs> uh, very much imagine we might laugh. He had to tip his hat. Are two new guests. Jenny works here at the National Nightly News and is someone I consider, well, a friend. And next to her is. What's your name? Andy. Andy's a policeman. Only we don't call him that anymore. He's a community cohesion official. Officer. Sorry? It's some. Um it's community cohesion officer, CCO. And how's that feel, Andy? Being rebranded? I kind of want to play. Uh, I kind of want to play one of their ads, weird. like one of the advance ads. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking the excellent. Had its fair share right, of right. Holy shit, we have to. The team doesn't have as many. All right, it's loaded up. <laughs> it's in uh, B. All right. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. Christ, you're fucking useless, aren't you? We'll come back to you later. Jenny? I don't want to be on the news, Jeremy. That's perfect, Andy's Let's cut around her now. Cut around her? Yeah. Just Jeremy and the cop. Jenny. <laughs> Why don't you join the National Miami News Chief? I always wanted to work in news. Yes, but why specifically this program? The National Nightly News. 
It was the news everyone trusted. What? Was, is, do you really want to quibble semantics at gunpoint? Is there something else you'd rather discuss? Well, there's the great big Alan James-sized elephant in the room you seem to be ignoring. What do you mean? I saw your face when that book came down. You didn't know, did you? It's about the message, not the messenger. Like I said, you didn't know. No. I didn't know. The people I met were with... He wasn't there. <laughs> God, I didn't know sorry. it was Alan James. I'm sorry. But seriously. Alan fucking James. You're flushing your life down the toilet. But God, I love you, Jeremy, but... He's a good speaker. Look at how... Look at how he's doing that. Is that right? <laughs> he's trying to justify it. Look, forget Alan James. There is still something deeply wrong. And you know it, Jenny. And you know it, Andy. And you, you are home. You know it too. Meanwhile, I'm interviewing a guest who stinks of shit. Patrick is paddling about in shit. And Robin, Robin is literally interviewing someone who collects the fucking stuff. I mean, it's not sophisticated, but what a metaphor. We are sleepwalking our way into a present, nope. and the news isn't saying anything. We're not saying anything. Says who? Alan fucking James. What are all those scientists working on at Grantham Downs? What are they testing underground at Altergrave? Andy, oh. your turn. Make yourself fucking useful. How many people have you brought in for consultations? Just because they weren't carrying or didn't have team membership cards. Oh, well, there's other forms of identification that we will accept. For how long? We're just here to help. Then why do you need these? Ooh, Already get his reaction. It's not at gunpoint, is it, Andy? And hold it for, for a real Let fucking uncomfortable long you. time. Okay, now let's do the wide. <laughs> And you'll probably digest a fact. That'd be helpful, wouldn't it, Andy? Knowing a fact? What? I don't Do you want my help, yes, Andy? Yes, yes, whatever you say, Security yes. Security are here, Jeremy. Eat it. What? Eat the fucking news, Andy, or I'll force it down your fucking throat. Jeremy, stop. Go on. Really? Eat it. Eat it, you fucking bully. Jeremy, stop. They will kill you. Please, don't make me watch that. Why? Not, right. not gonna lie, this is the best FMV Sorry. game I've ever played. <laughs> Sorry, I am loving everything about this. You can put the card down now, Andy. You can go now. You too, Jenny. Fuck off over there. Let's show him alone in the studio for a second, then go back to him. All cameras on me. This new regime of ours is so... Okay, let's follow his facing. I think he's yeah. facing three now. Yeah, he's facing three. I understand that. But before we all hand off our freedoms, should we ask to whom we're handing them over? Don't you want to know what's being done in your name? How many people were transitioned last month? A record high. Again, if you care. Shouldn't someone ask advance how they plan to deal with this blockade? How many years or months of supplies we have? Why aren't we asking these questions instead of, who shit is this? There's a cat backstage that is a fucking goalie, for Christ's sake. He's even got the little gloves. <laughs> I kind of want to see that. <laughs> That's why I arranged for you all to see that broadcast from the last break. I didn't know it was going to be him, but I guess that just about sums it up. We are all up Ship Creek with a paddle made of Alan fucking James. Christ is also fucking pointless. I think he's gonna turn to four soon. I was gonna quit this one. Take a holiday. Try something else. Out of the limelight. Maybe try having a relationship. I hear they're nice. Never tried. I. I love you. And Three. Now, well. Oh God, Jeremy, don't. I've tried my best to be honest with you. This just isn't the news anymore. I don't see it. Ads. I've lost this fight. Alex, think of the consequences. There we go. Cut to the ad. <laughs> 
And I do love that it's advanced. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, that's so Especially good. Especially because then, like, their intended propaganda immediately becomes evidence for what yeah. we're fucking saying. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> we received a generous bonus. Wow. Would you look at that? Look at that, we're so wealthy. <laughs> Yeah, they don't like us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god, that was great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have one more in you, or do you wanna do you wanna stop uh, on that? That because that was good. <laughs> I do have one more in me. I just gotta run and take a piss. Okay. All right, you so do I'm that. All for drinking coffee and water and hydrating like a fool. Ah. Uh. God, that's awesome. Oh, I'm so excited with that. That was so good. Oh, that was so freaking good. We're getting all the politics out of the way. Oh, it's so great. I'm going to hit continue. And then he should be back by the time this loads in and all that. Oh, the fucking downfall. It's the very next day. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh. You wake up, still partly in shock from what you saw on the news last night. What you had to edit on the news last night. When you come downstairs, you find your family sat in the living room, waiting for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take a seat on the sofa between Sam and Susie. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. All right. So, it's the very next day, and we're sitting with Sam and Susie. And there's going to be a discussion. <laughs> a discussion. <sighs> Sam swallows hesitating before starting. We were so worried about you last night. After Jeremy, everything that happened. Sam shakes their head. I wonder what they'll do with him from now on. Are you okay? Lock him up, probably. Can't say I blame them. Or I can't shake the feeling he might be right. I can't shake the feeling. Yeah. Sam looks to the kids, then back to you. We saw that you chose to play that tape. They paused before continuing, and I couldn't help but wonder why. Seemed like the right thing to do. Yeah. What? That's not good enough. Disruption. Disrupt are bad people. I can't believe you did that. Charlie's outburst seems to have come out of nowhere, and no one in the room is prepared for it. Everyone should have been prepared for it. Yeah. Do, you even, do you even think about how this stuff affects people? You're a fucking idiot. Sam interjects. Charlie. But he's already slammed the door. Charlie always was a bit black and white about this sort of thing. For what it's worth, Alex, I think you were in an impossible situation. And somehow you managed to make the right call. Sam throws his arms around you. Only you are stuck in that studio having to make that choice. No one can criticize what you did, and I'm proud of you. You've been so grateful to have Sam support you. Take a deep breath and gather your thoughts. It's a lot to take in. You're not sure you fully process what happened last night, let alone what Charlie and Sam think about it all. You look to your daughter. I know this is an incredibly difficult thing and we don't always agree, but I do think you made the right choice. Susie smiles at you. You had to play it, and there was no other option. You put an arm around her and give her an affectionate squeeze. It's nice, uh, at least you've got company. The TV star is playing through some old western show, but it's not quite as distracting as you hoped. You were never going to please everyone. Yeah, I imagine in that situation, Susie just kind of fucks off. <laughs> the same way that Charlie did. 
and Charlie probably comes up with some nationalist rant about how you're great. Yeah. All right. We got off work early today. A rare enough occurrence to put a spring in your stick. As you close the front door, you can hear excited conversation bubbling from the kitchen. Clearly, someone's popping around for a cup of <laughs> fuck <laughs> on Sam's Friday off. So very British. Sudden Britishness. Yeah. Blinds. I love the sudden Britishness out of nowhere. Uh, hopefully, there's still some biscuits left. As you enter the kitchen, you see Sam and Susie enthusiastically discussing something. Her daughter is still, still in her scrubs, clearly having come straight from work. I've got the posting I was hoping for, she gushes. I'll be doing my placement in the new transition center, really helping people like Grandma. I don't think it's helpful to go, why would you want to do that? Because if anyone's going to find out and put that together, I feel like it's going to be Susie. Yeah. Congratulations, okay. sweetheart. The five of you sit around the kitchen table for the first time in a while and celebrate the news. Six, if you include Emma, mum's nurse. Grandma's a bit better this evening, and you hear her talking with Susie in hushed tones throughout the night. You don't often cook, but tonight everyone's complimenting the chef. Who knows how many more evenings you'll get like this. Yeah, it was... It's a little sus. A little suspicious. Oh my god. We almost made it a year. <laughs> a burden born. Oh, we're so dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's been six, six months since you and Sam last discussed Grandma's ever-increasing medical costs. And Emma, while it's very pleasant, has proved as expensive a nurse as you feared. And can't quite believe it's been that long already. But the sanctions are really starting to hit home now. And unfortunately, the government's only solution to help the ailing elderly is a day trip to the transition center. Why does everything always seem to come back to money? <sighs> this time, it's you at the kitchen table, surrounded by bills and paperwork when Sam comes to join you. Today, Emma told you that there was really nothing more you could do. Such an expensive, experimental new treatment that might not even help. Sometimes your mom wants the treatment. More often, she talks about visiting a transition center. It's hard to know what she really wants. Sam puts a hand on yours. What are you going to do, honey? She's your mother. It has to be your choice. Let's get the treatment. We can afford it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we can afford it. Sometimes splurging. Yeah. Fuck it. We we literally worked hard to become wealthy. God damn it. We'll afford it. It's a difficult choice. You know, that's the telling thing, too, is that there's still medical bills. You yeah. still have to work. You still get yeah. bonuses and raises, and you can be poor. Yeah. That's the proof that they didn't do wealth for, like, actual, she didn't do anything. Yeah, she didn't proper do, long-term, like, term, like... They didn't do just, fucking anything. It's just everything is worse now. Nothing is improved. <laughs> like, effectively, all it is is, like, a little parade being like, Ha-ha, we're getting them. Come oh. to the transition center. Watch yeah. our tape. Carry your ID card. Yeah. It's a difficult choice. You never know when you might need that money, particularly for the kids. What if uh, Charlie gets in an accident? Oh, fuck a truck. Fuck Charlie. What if she drops out of medical school and she needs uh, you to keep her afloat? But what if you could give them a few more good years with grandmother? Surely that's worth the cost. Well, they're also getting close to being working adults themselves. Hey, we made it a year! <laughs> Not dead, a year in. Yeah! For our first blind run, this this feels very successful for us. Mm. <laughs> oh, we can always go to discord.gg slash not for broadcast to keep up to date and also to tell them their ideas for a possible like DLC or future release. <laughs> oh. Oh. We have a laugh track now. So keep an eye on the interference screen and stay out of the orange. Let's keep the news on the air. 
It's important now more than ever. Okay. They try and fashion nutritious meals. The SS fun ship. A cow's tongue and some wind. Uh, a new daring new so fragrance from Eye of the Beholder. Siege survival kit. What does that mean? Or war broadcast. An essential message from government. Fine. Play it. They do know this is the news, don't they? Uh, then we'll queue up the SS fun ship, because why not? And, and Neil? And or Neil. what was the Eye of the Beholder one? Oh, uh, it's a perfume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? We've given enough to Neil. I don't think we've given anything to Eye of the Beholder. We'll do that. Oh, yeah. He's gone now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tonight, Dr. Adrian Atkinson Blimey will be getting his teeth into Fiona from Hamble Bambleberry. Hamble Bambleberry! Sorry. That was a, that was a touching moment, but Hamble Bambleberry. Five. Four. Three. It's time to join Megan and the Might as well have been grumped and frumped. Good evening. This is the National Night. Alright, we got choices. I'm Megan Wolf. It's the 140th day of war. Our main headlines tonight. Company of Heroes. Skirmishes on land and sea again today as our armed forces tested the metal of the World Council's illegal blockade. Advances strategy of multiple small-scale incursions into the disputed zone is certainly keeping the enemy on high alert. Yeah, I, I, I knew that was going to be the <laughs> Sadly, however, more casualties were reported today, and as the weeks and months of this war make ever more demands on our armed services, those numbers will, tragically, only continue to rise. Don't starve. Advances food Together. program moved from strength to strength today as rationing depots were opened in the last like remaining unfed bombs, areas though. of the territory. The rationing oh, depots God. have been constructed in record time, <laughs> and the government's agricultural coordination strategy has seen yeah. shelves restocked hey. with increasing regularity. <laughs> However, we're just the shitting on the government. Mental and physical health issues since the imposition of the blockade, critics have questioned whether those smaller communities, which are only now starting to receive help, could have been better and quicker served. Seven days to die. The recent decision They're just listening to off games. With long term health conditions <laughs> to access transition centers has today been declared an overwhelming success. Previously available only to those in their final years, the expansion of the Does it not let us pick B? Relief by the oh, I think it would, yeah. Calling for it to be okay. up to We're picking B. Community. With yeah, the transition centers are now for people who have disabilities. Chronic pain, Yay! Now they can euthanize. Them. Will, congrats! You yeah. can be euthanized. <laughs> I'm gonna be going to a center, guys. <laughs> All because I can't lift a small box. for a team membership card. A worrying statistic, given that the cards are a legal requirement. Like I'm just assuming we're doing everything that shit's on. Applications are still open for oh, yeah. those who like to run fashionably late. They can expect a few tricky questions from advance. Street Fighting Man. Spokesman Street Alan James today man. announced that Disrupt were responsible for the two explosions which rocked the Capitol's warehouse district last night. Julia Salisbury condemned the attack on what she described as vital medical supplies. As Air pointless B? and barbaric. Uh, uh, Mr. I just clicked James it, commented, sorry. Disrupt <laughs> are strong and our numbers are growing. Advance fear us and they should because we're holding the line. I just us. really like this shittily photoshopped <laughs> image. <laughs> Our mutual friend. Bail was denied in the High Court today for shamed former National Nightly News anchor Jeremy Donaldson. The presenter will be transferred to new lodgings at Pension Ridge Prison a while the lengthy preparations for his trial, which is still 18 months away, begin. Since being taken into custody 10 weeks ago in this very studio, little has been heard from our former colleague. Despite how things ended, we wish him the best and will be sure to bring you all the details of that court case every night. But first this evening, with the war about to enter its 21st punishment oh God, we got Peter and people Clement. hurting up and down the country, I'll be grilling unpredictable Prime Minister Peter Clement in an exclusive interview from his home in Lampertshire. That's coming up on tonight's... Oh, that's the drinky exercise one. Yeah, drinky exercise!
two, I'm a little overexcited to announce. I'll be interviewing the one and only Lil C. And later we've got a new feature that's sure to keep you coming back for more. But first tonight, let's check in with Prime Minister Peter Clement, who's speaking to us from his home in Lanfordshire. Good evening, Prime Minister. Have we caught you exercising? Have we caught you exercising? Have we started? Yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, just have we started? <laughs> Let's get some reaction shots. It's time for tactical political editing. Yeah. Language, Prime Minister. Language, Prime Minister. What? Quick fiddle? What's <laughs> wrong? Oh, shit. It's shit, isn't it? Yep. That's the one. And can you tell us what brought about this new oh, you? Oh no, that's just rocks. Freedom fighters. You know the night the blockade began. When John May Donaldson. When John May Donaldson. Well, you know. And it was Let's move away from him. I'm sure you all remember. Wait. Our, our oh, sorry, it kept on the thing too long. From all the cigars and all that. It doesn't really matter. And Mr. C turns to me after. You know, okay, let's let's switch back. Make it away. seem like we're failing. And she was in front of tea. Oh god, we're losing so much. We need to keep it consistent. Yeah. I can't, uh... I, uh nope, it's shrinking. Oh, it's too low and it's too flat. Yeah. Or too tall. Uh, no. Come on. Come on, I can't organize it. I can't, what? It's, it's over top. It's overlapped. Damn it! That That's actually not weird. Even, I don't. I don't even think. Let's retry that. That seems that. That doesn't seem right. That didn't seem right. That didn't seem right. I think it also. I need you to remind me to change camera angles, uh, yeah. while I'm fiddling with that. <laughs> okay. Because I'll fiddle with it, and try and get it to work. But I think the main thing that turned people off was I wasn't changing camera angles. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut, shut the fuck up. Shut up. So, Junior's team have asked me to ask you if you want. What does that mean? Do you do that when you do? Are you turn politicians into humans? Oh, just don't get drawn into talking about the war. They do know this is the news, don't they? Oh, great. So they get the brains and we get the performance. That looks a little bit stormy out tonight. <laughs> Sometimes you sound What's just that little thing? Canned cooking by oh, Candy Cock? Oh, no. Candy Cook. Oopsie. <laughs> 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 Getting us used to the rations? Yeah, it looks like it. Adrian Atkinson Bliney will be getting his teeth into Fiona from Hamble Bamblebury. Ten seconds, everybody. Tasty twist on this humble biscuit. Going in five, four, three. It's time to join Megan and the team for the National Nightly News. Good evening. This is the National Nightly News. I'm Megan Wolf. It's the 140th day of war. Our main headlines tonight. Company of Heroes. Skirmishes on land and sea again today as our armed forces we'll just tested the, the ones the that we chose last time. Illegal. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to choose a different disrupt one instead of the action the shot. Zone is I think we choose the other disrupt one. Alert. Okay. Unable to work out where it looks like actual footage and like. Sadly, yeah. however, more casualties were reported today. If we're going to be sitting here going, we're talking about truth, then we do have to talk. Yeah. If we're going to sit here and talk about truth, we actually have to sit here and show some truth. Don't starve. Advance's food program moved from strength to strength today as rationing depots were opened in the last remaining unfed areas of the time. territory. The rationing depots have been constructed in record time and the government's agricultural coordination like strategy has now. seen shelves it's changed. with increasing regularity. It used to be the group of However, friends and now it's just the two, two of us. I'm assuming that's Sam and Alan. The imposition of the blockade, critics have questioned nice. whether those smaller communities which are only now starting to receive help could have Our been better and quicker served. Seven days to die. The oh, recent yeah. decision to allow those with long-term health conditions to access transition centers has today been declared an overwhelming success. Previously Good available old only to those in their <laughs> Good old years, B. the expansion of the service November. has been met with relief it by looks the like many organizations calling for it to be opened up to the wider community. 
With dwindling medical supplies leaving many of our most vulnerable facing chronic pain, it can come as no surprise that the transition centers have found themselves stretched to capacity. Populous. More than 11% of the population have thus far failed to register for a team membership card, a worrying statistic given that the cards are a legal requirement from midnight tonight. Oh, While yep, they became a legal requirement. Those who like to run fashionably late, they can expect a few tricky questions from advance. Street Fighting Man. Spokesman Alan James today announced that Disrupt were responsible for the two explosions which rocked the Capitol's warehouse district last night. Julia Salisbury condemned the attack on what she described I still as like the shitty Photoshop. I know, right? They're clearly, like, standing still in place. In the it's attack, so good. Once again, shows Disrupt's reckless disregard for human life. And finally tonight. Our mutual friend. Bail was denied in the High Court today for shamed former National Nightly News anchor Jeremy Donaldson. The presenter will be transferred to new lodgings at Penton Ridge Prison, while the lengthy preparations for his trial, oh, which is still 18 months person. away, <laughs> begin. Since being taken into custody 10 weeks ago in this very studio, little has been You know, if Bozeman really him. wanted us to not play Despite that tape, he should have just come down here and stopped us. And we'll himself. be sure to bring you all the details yeah. of that court case. Every Let him be the one that fucking but pushed first it. this evening, with the mm -hmm. war about to enter its 21st punishing week, and people hurting up and down the country, I'll be grilling unpredictable Prime Minister Peter Clement. Unpredictable. An exclusive interview from his home in Lancashire. That's coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. I'm a little overexcited to announce. I'll be interviewing the one and only Lil C. And later we've got a new feature that's sure to keep you coming back for more. But first tonight, let's check in with Prime Minister Peter Clement, who's speaking to us from his home in Lanfordshire. Good evening, Prime Minister. Have we it's caught you exercising? I like that no signal is is green, yes, that's right. implying that we could <laughs> potentially cut to it. Switch to a reaction. As my old mum used to say, yeah. just because she won't take it up the shit, it doesn't mean you shouldn't try for a quick fiddle up the car park. Language, Prime Minister. What? Quick fiddle? What? What's wrong? Oh, shitter. It's shitter, isn't it? Yep, that's the one. And can you tell us what brought about Okay, I'll keep an eye out now. All right. Well, you know, Mrs. C and I were watching, you know, the night the blockade began. When Jeremy uh, Donaldson, one. well, you know, and it was blistering Two. hot, as I'm sure you all remember, and I, I were a bit wheezy from all the cigars and all. Honestly, I and think we're doing disrupt a favor. After, you know, after yeah. the signal dropped away, and she was in floods of tears, and she said, please do you. Okay, keep an eye out. I could go on without you. Okay, so one. I made a decision. And since that day, I have stopped smoking cigars. Except for Christmas. <laughs> Weddings. Yeah, let's keep on him Stay for his in. whole round. Uh, you can't. You have to cut every couple of seconds, otherwise it gets cut. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The ideal thing is that you cut every like 10 seconds and then you can hold for like a second and then you can go back like that's That's like actual studio stuff Yeah it, Like you you'll notice it in TV shows as well if you watch a TV show It'll never go longer than uh, 12 seconds without another person entering shot leaving shot or changing shot And back As I'm sure you're all aware all in it together. Oh, yeah. Go to one. Also, it doesn't seem very advanced to be going abroad when the rest of the country is grand. switched to one. And yet, Julia Salisbury announced today that she'll be visiting Spenland during this year's winter break. Is that really an example of team spirit? Is that really an example of team spirit? Two. Oh. Did you know one. about this, Gail? 
No one tells me Good one. You should know that. Why don't you know? Well, leaving that for a moment, it says on this card that a body like yours must take some planning to achieve. What's your morning routine? <laughs> it's nice that we keep getting the anchor that's yeah. just done. Get one. And demanding plan that my doctor and then back to two. Personal trainer <laughs> Who's your personal trainer? Ah, some prick called Clark. Is that on your card? I thought you might wonder. Prime Minister, speaking of planning, with the blockade in its 20th week and the people of this country reeling from its effects, what plans do you have to get us out of this mess? Two. Well, that's a very blunt question. One. Surely one for which you, the democratically elected Prime Minister, must have an answer. Don't you get smart with me, Pat. I was a fucking national get a reaction. before you were a twinkle in the milk. Get a reaction. Scrotum. You want to talk about plans? Let me tell you about yeah. plans. That's all we do. Fucking plans. More of her. And revised plans. And then meetings to discuss okay. the implementation of plans. And plans and yet it. more planning for fucking plans and yet more fucking plans. Well, that's good. That's good to know, Pat. You know, I Back to her. You are a breath of fresh air. But I've been watching you. And you know what? You get more like him every day. One. I will take that as a compliment. Prime Minister, later on this evening, your co-leader Julia Salford <laughs> is going to give a national address from team headquarters. Get Can two. you give us a hint of what she's going to say? Um, yes. Well, uh, I imagine that there sorry, will be sorry, you the imagine? usual... Uh, no, what, what, I, mean, what do, I mean is... You do know about this broadcast, don't you, Prime Minister? Well, I'm, I'm Hold sure it on him I uncomfortably long. Um, but Julia and I have no secrets from each other. We don't memorize each other's bloody diaries either. Okay, switch you over. Know what Mom used to say, if you wanted to get a job done quick, don't get bogged down in the pew. What else you got? Sorry? Only cards, Oops. what else? A little piece of my life she want to rustle through. Get Back to her. Get Back to two. Oh, come on. There, come now back on. Okay, what music do you listen to when you work out? There, we got the fucking give me a drink. Well, give me a drink. Well, tells me that I work out to little C, but I have <laughs> absolutely no fucking idea who that is. Go back to one if you can. Do you think the C stands for? It stands for collaborative, Prime Minister. <laughs> yep, that, that, that does make more sense actually. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's the guy you love to hate. Take comfort in each other. I've got Go to one for the react a little. And many a fine single moment. I want for nothing. Back to her. Time for a decent night's sleep. Of course. Prime Minister, thank you for joining us. When we come back, it's time for the culture spot with Lil C and a world premiere performance. I think we did that pretty good. I think we did that really fucking well. We'll be back. Oops, I played the ad too soon. Oh well. One minute back, everybody. Fucking government stuff is complete fucking. The enemy is all around us in a frightened world. Okay, no, it's going too fast. They've tried to starve us, but as a team, we have grown food enough for all. They have tried to hurt us, to cut off our medicines, but as a team, we have offered radical, compassionate solutions. And they have tried to scare us, to rob us of power and leave us in the dark. But as a team, we have lit a fire so bright that they will never quench it. We are at war with a brutal foreign enemy against leaders who do not even treat those people with dignity and love them when they come to expect a standard. And if these leaders can sit by idly and let people starve, well, whatever. What'd they do to us? Should we lose? That's why it's vital that we pull together. And encourage and educate our family, friends, and neighbors. <laughs> the kid just got blasted by a wave and did not want to hit. <laughs> the team can only succeed when it pulls in the same direction. And while we certainly know. wouldn't call dissenting voices treasonous, we would raise an eyebrow at those who can't find it enough to show a little team spirit. Advance. Together, we cannot lose this war. So join the winning team. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Later, oh we have God. an exciting new These ads are so bad. <laughs> so stay yeah. tuned for that. 
But first, I'm really excited for our next guest. She rose to prominence as the delightful Susie May in all my daughter's children's Before taking the music industry by storm this year with her debut album smashing the chart records at the age of just 20. Let's give it up and welcome <laughs> Lil C. <laughs> Wait, is that the girl from the, the like group? May I just say, you look Maybe. incredible. Maybe. Oh, thanks, Dave. I'm doing this new regime, and it really okay. it is. It's definitely the girl regime. from the the, the play. It basically involves bathing in like cabbage water and then having the leaves sucked out of you while you sleep. Wow, is is that healthy? Oh, well, look at me, Meg. The leaves are my only nourishment. <laughs> yep, they certainly are. Now, you have to forgive me, but I'm somewhat of a super fan, so I'm sorry if I get a bit starstruck. <laughs> oh, bless you. I've never actually heard of you before, so if you, you get, get a bit of the wide on the floor sometimes. Carry the interview. Oh, that's good to know. So your first album, F My Face Together, it hit shelves this <laughs> summer and it just exploded. I mean, what was that like for you? Bonkers, just yeah. so weird. I was in all the papers and the magazines. Stick Overnight, four. I went from that like yeah. annoying little girl from that show to that like back to her. little girl from that show. Wow, that must have been bizarre. Not really. Oh yeah, she I actually like is. Morning, you know, get up at five, go on a four-mile run, have three four? meetings on my cabbage bath, but then only then was my dad actually talking to me. Oh cool. There we go. Famed country singer Billy Bob Jean Short. Billy Bob Jean Short. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, you may believe that aliens told him to hate women, but there really isn't anything to prove that he's wrong. Uh huh. So, uh, this newfound explosion into your popularity, I mean, did that change your life? Um, well, I had to start wearing like nice underwear, you know, for the paparazzi, but as the manager says, yeah. best to make the most of it before I'm 30. <laughs> Is that right? Back to So, what, what's the album yeah. about? So I thought it was about like how pretty and great I am, yeah. but actually it's about monetizing youth, I think. I think we're at a like point where you can start to get reaction shots from her. Your manager again. <laughs> yeah, he says insecurity is an opportunity. Yeah, to her. Oh, <laughs> you think you'd be happy with you telling us all this? <laughs> telling you all what? It really doesn't matter what I say here. I'll do my dancing and then this part will it all be forgotten about. Oh. One. Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> you know, uh, well, yeah, you're, you're not wrong. Very you're not wrong. You're going to be performing your new single. Before? Album. Yeah, it's on my album, Put It In My A Together, okay. and it's out tomorrow. So soon, after the last one. Oh, yeah, I've actually released two albums since lunchtime. And Let's a COVID-19 during this interview. Cry, cry, cry. <laughs> See, this is called Cry For Help. And it's going to be an all best high street oh, oh, sorry. Shop. Yeah. And it's out Her. now. So, girlies, now. you know what to do. Scream and cry until somebody gets it for you. Maybe four. Uh, and then goes. into her. Blimey. <laughs> all these projects, they're keeping you very busy, aren't they? It must be tough. Yeah, it can get tough, and I hate it sometimes. And I hate myself. I just want to, like, cry into a bath of root One. Veg. But then I think thousands of girls would do anything to be yeah. here, so I must be quite lucky. Well, you you know you don't have to do this, though, don't you? Yeah, I do think that sometimes. Most nights, I have my fourth vodka and the eighth time a stranger slaps me around the arse. I think things could have been different, you know, like better. But I don't know. I love doing autographs and having somebody dress me and tell me what to wear. <laughs> Did you always want to do music? Uh, well, ever since I was a little girl, I did. I'd sit in front of the radio. And as God, soon as that I is complex girl, shit. Call, <laughs> but then my dad would come in and tell me to turn it off and to go back upstairs and start practicing Four. Again. Oh, Let's get wide. Sorry, is, you, is your dad your manager? Yeah, which can be tough. And sometimes when it gets really hard, he'll say, Let's establish the space with the wide there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. might just survive childbirth. <laughs> well, you know what? Despite anything, you'll make me proud. Oh, One. If only your opinion was as valuable as his. And on that problematic note, uh, <laughs> and on that problematic note, uh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. So it's called "These Babies Gonna Bring You Home," and I actually got sent the lyrics in the car on the way up here. But you know what? It's actually all right. And don't worry, all my work is team approved. All right then. Well, you can go and get ready for that. We'll see you in a little bit. It was a very specific type of pleasure to chat to her, and I just can't wait to hear this. Suggestive, masochistic. We'll see with an exclusive first performance of her new track, These Babies Gonna Bring You Home. Take it away. It's the force's favorite. The queen of teams. Here to break in your blockades. 
We'll see. Switch to four on the beat. I want that meat you're packing. Only you can feel that crack in me. I'm under siege, so come and free me. Ain't no disruption here. But One. I got no agenda. Just want the team and me. No dirty and four. Remember, <laughs> don't stop no morning drill. There's holes in me that ain't been filled yet. I only see this. Am I already done? Yeah, I just really wanted to get the shot of one of the guys. Four is the best shot. Yeah. Ooh, that was a good shot. <laughs> Kudos to those guys. Some action, so come and break my sanctions. Stuff on going great. Yeah, get the beauty. The dude got cake. Let's show it off. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> that's that's equal opportunity sex. <laughs> get one. Two. This guy's working the fucking camera. <laughs> the lyrics to this are really good. Like, it's really good for, like, pointing out how crazy the shit that they did to, like, a lot of those pop idols was. The shit that they would make them sing about. Yeah, it really is way too accurate to what happened in the 90s. See some action, so come and break my sanctions. Hello. Switch to the other one and then back to her. We can't get the reaction shot right now. I know, right? Oh, God, that's ridiculous. Well, if that doesn't distract you from the world outside, I don't know what will. <laughs> I'd like to thank you, Seepo. Well, for doing that. Don't go anywhere. Oh, After the break, we'll finally be revealing the new se segment of our show that we just know you're going to love. We'll be back. New right segment. And we're out. <laughs> She's just walking away from it all. Mm -hmm. Can I just say thank you so much for letting me do this. It really means a lot to me, you know, yeah. to be able to promote myself on such a mainstream platform like the news. Oh, well, don't worry about it. And you know what? Good luck for the future. Take care of yourself. This industry can be crazy sometimes. Watch out for that father of yours. Oh, you? no, no. I manage myself. It's just, you know, for the public to have that certain perspective. You know what it's like. Oh. Oh, right. Um, and Michael? What was Michael? Michael? What about Billy Bob Jean Shaw? Is he? Oh, my dad. He's such a sweetheart. We both had the same agents, you know, like it just made sense. Both of us for our image together. Wow. And Michael, I want to see the revenue share for the clothing line and get me a GNT before my meeting with the Lube guys. <laughs> if they say for your pleasure, I'm gonna stop needing it. Oh, we only got C on that? Perfect. As it said in your rider. Do I look like the sort of person who counts things? No, 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 not anymore. I'm better than that now. I'll tell you what. Just keep adding flowers. Oh, until it it's that guy. Feels like 12. Got it? Absolutely, <laughs> right away. 10 seconds. 
Oh, we're Hi. making this guy out to be a joke, oh. aren't we? <laughs> hey. Thanks for joining us for part three. We've been teasing you about our new feature all night, and now the wait is finally over. I can reveal that every night on the show, we'll be treated to an episode of an informative and hilarious new segment called The Notice Board. It stars some top talent, and we're very excited about it. But before we see it, let's have a quick chat with the writer, director, and phenomenon, may I say, Jeff Algebra, guys. Let's just clap as normal first. I go by Oops. Jeff now. Oop. How'd you like that? Yeah, very fancy. I suppose you need a new name now that you're a Jeff de Plume? Exactly. Yeah. I'm earning enough to pay taxes now. Oh. <laughs> it's shit. And how does Angela feel about all this? And how does Angela feel about all this? Your, uh, your wife. Your, uh, your wife. Let's get the wide. <laughs> oh, God, no. Let's get a reaction. <laughs> no, she's long gone. Get no, she was holding me back. Ooh, I'm yeah. now. We were married last month. <laughs> Norm de Plume. Yeah. And, um, why did you... <laughs> it's so fucking awkward. Oh, well, I, I received a telephone call offering me 25 grand to write a protein... Oh, call. get one from her. And get a reaction from her. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It said... Uh, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> you listen here, boy. You make hay while the sun shines. You ring every penny you can get out of this. So I wheeled him down to the transition center, got out my typewriter, and started clacking. Wow. That's a shot. And without further ado, let's give it up for the notice board. Oh, I didn't click anything in time. You have to play a sound effect, Alex. It didn't give me time. I had a countdown. What? Alex, if you keep this up, you'll ruin the notice board, and the actors won't be happy. Good morning. Miss Craven. Oh, one morning, Ray. Let's get the wide. Get Everything some setting. Right, Mrs. Craven. You look as worried as the vicar in closing time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think that was the wrong choice. It's those young louts. They vandalized my shop again. No! Yes! <laughs> They've written all sorts of obscene language and pictures and I know it's those damn you <laughs> I don't know it could be the vicar at closing time that was awful I should have that I'm worried they won't ever become productive members of the community what if they never see the error of their ways and end up as social outcasts everything she says is a laugh don't worry oh come on yeah, we're this stuck on our two on there. Yeah, that's fair. Community. And I'm sure that in time, they will fit into this society like this key into this lock. <laughs> I'm not choosing any of the right options. <laughs> oh, get the key focus. <laughs> oh, you cannot. See? Works like a charm. <laughs> What a lovely way to put it, Ray. And just like that, we can unlock... Okay, show him struggling with it all. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Look at all the letters in my collection today. Oh. I think that one's addressed to me. <laughs> what? This, this one? Oh, focus oh, on it. His hand stuck. So you're right. His hand stuck. Oh, I didn't play his hand. Get him, get him struggling. Get as much of the struggle as you can. Here it is. <laughs> oh. Show him being still stuck. In. <laughs> get the wide. Some of her, and then to his hand. <laughs> What's up, losers? What's up, losers? Oh, I forgot to do the thing. Oh, no. It's, it's Brad. Get the wide. the coolest guy in the village. That's right. I just got here on my motorbike. Oh, clear off, Brad. We don't want any of your ilk. 
Oh, around here. What? Radoots? No. Champions. <laughs> Have you come to tag the notice board with your gang signs? No way. I yeah! You may on that notice board. I'm looking to do some tutoring after school. What? Did you say tutoring? That's right. Maths is very important. Would you mind, Ray? Maths is very important. Not at all. Get to one. So you, as young person, have been spending your time helping. Show that he's still stuck. And not just urinating on shirts. <laughs> hey, I haven't huffed glue for months. Well, blow me down. Oh, why? Get the wine. You know what? We misjudged you based on how Get the two. young and cool you are, and not. On your actions. No joy. So it wasn't you who vandalized my shop last night or called me a rancid old crone from the back of a chopper? No way. It can't have been me. I was too busy helping my friend Brenda with her maths homework. What you speak up? Okay, show him. <laughs> show him strong. <laughs> Did. Did you hear that, Ray? Oh, yes, what a wonderful surprise. I now respect <clears throat> you as a man. I now respect you as a man. <laughs> Show the wide. Oh, Show the wide. The heck? Give us a hug. Uh... Dead? <laughs> I think we're dead. <laughs> Was it an earthquake, maybe? Yeah. Bomb? Could also have been a bomb. Maybe one of those factories blew up. <laughs> maybe. All those flared factories. Sorry to interrupt the first groundbreaking episode of oh, the notice board, we but uh, we're receiving some breaking news. <laughs> I'm being told we're picking up reports from across the continent mm -hmm. of what appear to be, oh God, what appear to be nuclear explosions oh. in four major foreign cities. Initial estimates put the death toll into, uh, into the millions. Uh, I'm being told ah. that uh, we're experiencing some power fluctuations as a result, uh, so apologies to any interruption to the broadcast view at home. Um, uh, and now I am told that we are going live to team headquarters Woo! for an emergency broadcast from Prime Minister Julius Salisbury. They planned the emergency broadcast. Yes, oh, yeah. um, let's go to that now. Good evening, citizens and leaders of the world. Oh yeah, they definitely planned this shit. Minutes ago, operatives working for Advance detonated nuclear explosives simultaneously in four major cities across the continent. We have similar devices in 58 other urban centers. Wow. We will not hesitate to detonate them if our conditions are not met in full. We are hearing stories of power fluctuations and what could be minor earthquakes uh, throughout the continent. Stand by. Go back. You're on the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> We will accept nothing less than your unconditional surrender. Your territories will be taken under our control. We will install replacement governments to ensure that your citizens become part of the new future. Your borders are now our borders. Your people are our people. They will finally be fed and clothed. You can't even do that to your own people. And healed. Can we switch to the hack but one for a little? For your privileged few. The moment that they feared is now upon you. I'm trying. Allow me to be crystal clear. If you fire a single shot at our territory, or harm a single one uh, of our citizens, okay, gotta get back, I think. we will yeah. not hesitate to detonate further devices. Uh. You will not find them. Yep. 
Nailed it. Yeah. Okay, we gotta play it. We gotta play it clean. We might lose if we keep fucking with it. Yeah. We will expect your complete acceptance of our terms by midnight tonight. We didn't even broadcast half the terms. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Well, um, okay, so there you have it. Advance making a brave move that looks likely to end the war in this, its 20th week. There's a lot to take in here. And I know you, like me, will be wondering if this is too much. If we've gone too far. But I'm thinking of our sick and ill denied their medicines. The children with no food on their plates and the body bags returning from the front line. And I ask myself if without some big, bold gesture it would ever stop, and I do not think it ever would. We elected advice Ew. to make this country better for us all, and it was working. No, it wasn't. But then the rest of the world looked at us and they said this cannot be seen to succeed. And they brought their warships. Where do I eat? And their tanks Whoa. and their planes just to make sure that we were instead seen to suffer. To make sure no one anywhere would ever attempt this again. So, to my mind, our government have taken the only path available to them. A difficult decision for their hearts to bear, but one that ultimately we can respect because it is designed to keep us That's safe. some, uh, I know I've said it like six times, but I mean, what are we gonna do? It's a broadcast thing. Yeah. That is some manufacturing concept right the there. Of a yep. new future. Someone called Noam Chomsky, get him, tell him we got a snack for him. Let's make tomorrow better. And we're out. Oh, God. Don't forget the feeling that you're making history. <laughs> well. Fuck. I didn't do that right that time. Uh, we have received our full wages. Still made money. Yep. And we're in everyone's good books. All right. Dear Should we cut God. it here then? Yeah, I think we cut it here because that that was a whole lot to take in, and mm -hmm. there, there's war now. <laughs> now we have war. Yep, glorious. So, Wonderful. uh, yeah, I definitely feel like this game has improved in the second stream. <laughs> definitely, like, I I loved it the first the first stream, but this one it really shows what it was going for. Yeah, sometimes you the game really needs a bit start more to see that. Mature. Yeah, and we're starting. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> we're going to end it off here. And uh, I don't know. I'm thinking we might continue this next week as well. Yeah, because it's a good uh, break from Oblivion. So we yeah. Come back to it, palette cleansed. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, because I think it would only be one more stream. I can't yeah. imagine shit hitting more of the fan. <laughs> it seems like it would be a very difficult thing for shit to more hit the fan. Um, so yeah, be sure to tune in for that. If not, we got Divinity on Mondays, we got uh, Pokemon probably throughout the week, probably more Temtem, and we got Bloodline on Wednesdays. So be sure to tune in for that. As always, thank you everyone for watching, and see you next time. Have a good night.